Day. Woo! Oh my goodness. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Makers Gonna Learn YouTube channel. Today's video, we are so, so excited because we have a Dollar Tree project, which are always so popular. Absolutely. On top of that, I decided that not only is it gonna be a Dollar Tree project, but we're going to cut fabric with our Cricut Maker. Um, and on top of that, I'm gonna teach you guys my secret to cleaning my Cricut mat with something everyone has. What I love about this tutorial I'm gonna teach inside of cleaning your Cricut mat with a baby wipe is that the adhesive is still there. It's just, you're, it's piled up with gunk. Yeah. So you're not cleaning the adhesive off, you're just cleaning the gunk off of the adhesive. So it's gonna be really, really good. I think you guys are gonna love all aspects of today's video. Lauren, I will tell you, there's a little part of this tutorial that is gonna keep people on their toes. Yeah. So the heat transfer vinyl onto the actual cutting board, the cutting board's textured. Mm -hmm. So there's gonna be a little, you know, it's, that's gonna be the only part where you're just gonna wanna like really give your all for your crafting. And we are super, super excited for that. But to today's project, so I think we're going to dive in and take a look at what we got going on. I say, let's do it. Let's go over and take a look. I'm so excited. I've got to move my gold fishies. Okay. Today's project, here's what the finished one is. So what we're doing, we're taking the Dollar Tree um, glass cutting boards that are ever so popular. We are actually putting HTV on the front. So obviously like this is not something you're going to actually cut on anymore. Yeah. Really, because you know, your HTV is on the top. And then what we're doing for the back is, first of all, when you look at it, it looks like it was always there. And you guys know our heart here at Maker is gonna learn is to always, always, always teach you how to make things that look professional and store-bought. Like that's why we do crafting in my opinion is to make something that looks custom, but also 100% yours. So you can actually take whatever fabric you want and Lauren, we are actually gonna have the Cricut cut the fabric today. Listen, I love a good this fabric a cut good with one. the Cricut. Oh my goodness, I'm really excited. We're gonna do it. So if you all are scared to cut fabric with the Cricut, piece of cake today, that is what we're gonna teach you. Um, and then we're gonna actually decoupage it three times. Three is the magic number when we talk about the dishwasher safe Mod Podge. So I'll give you all of this right here and we will then finish it off by heat transfer vinyl onto our um, plate. So. Yes, you can use the HTV on the tile, Michelle, but I will tell you that is going to be not the hardest part, but the part where I want you all to really focus in on, if that makes sense. Okay. So if you have any of these, I think today's project's going to be a lot of fun because you're going to be able to do the fabric and be able to do the HTV. So those two together are gonna to be able to build something super, super fun. Aaron is pointing out that the profit margin on these is wonderful. I want to uh, just reiterate that I agree with that. These are amazing, especially for decorative. Um, decorative use, having different fabric, all of that goodness. So anyway, looking over at supplies, we can just go overhead real quick. There's not a terrible ton. Um, you're gonna of course need the glass cutting board. You're going to need the heat transfer vinyl, which I figured today, we've done so much heat transfer vinyl. I'm gonna teach you the design space, but what we're going to be able to do um, is teach you the fabric cutting and we just followed typical heat transfer vinyl procedure. So that's already cut out. You're gonna need your fabric. You're going to need your dishwasher safe Mod Podge. And I like to use a regular paintbrush. I don't really like to use a foam brush. And let me tell you why. This dishwasher safe Mod Podge, Lauren, have you ever used this stuff? I've used Mod Podge, but not the dishwasher well, safe specific. Just imagine like it's triple the thickness. Really? So this is like really, really thick, thick, thick. So just be mindful of that, my friends. So that's why I like to use a real, like a real paintbrush, okay? Um, we're also cleaning our Cricut mat today. So if you are a little, if, if your mats is non-sticky as mine, this technique's gonna help you a bunch. And we're using the rotary blade. So we're using the rotary blade. And yes, if you bond your fabric, you will be able to use, in your Cricut Explorer, you'll be able to use this blade, which is the bonded fabric blade that is available from Cricut for the Explorer machines. So bonded fabric, raw fabric, 
pretty much is the breakdown here. So anywho, that is that. If you have an original Cricut Maker, you got this right here. Um, you got the rotary blade. If you have a Maker 3, like we're using today, unfortunately, they don't come with um, a rotary blade anymore. So that is that. I just want to let you all know. Um, you would get like some bonding. Um, there's a few different fabric bonding out there that you would just like use your easy press and bond to the back of the fabric. It's a lot easier than it sounds. And yes, the dishwasher safe Mod Podge, like I mentioned before, is a lot, lot thicker than traditional Mod Podge. So don't use any regular Mod Podge for this unless you want to do like 10 coats, but it probably would be too gunky. So this is very specific, believe it or not. Okay, and last but not least, mini easy press. So that is that. Perfect. Well, let's head on over to Cricut Design Space because this one is really, really fun and I'm super excited you guys get to see this. Um, what you're going to see here is we already added the shapes of our cutting boards. As you guys know, anytime we make a project here at Makers Gonna Learn, we love, love, love to take the blank and add it in as a basic shape. So for example, if we have a, you know, a eight inch circle, which I'm just going to confirm this is an eight inch circle because this is just blown up for today's example. Um, do, do, do. Yep, this is a little less, this is an eight inch circle, beautiful. So we'll be able to grab over here at shapes. In the free area, we are going to be able to just select a circle. And then we're going to bring this down here. We are going to change the size to eight inches and press enter. And then we can just go bring all this smaller, bring this up and zoom in. Beautiful. So this is our eight inch circle. I'm going to change it to this just to have a background. Now the main part of this right here is I want to make sure you guys know always, always, always measure your projects once or twice before, you know, bringing it over to Cricut and making things different sizes without knowing. So this is the best way to bring your project into design space that we've ever thought of. Okay. Hey, Carol, welcome to the live. Um, what we're actually featuring today is something that I'm really impressed with and I can't wait to show you. So if you have seen over here at our new cut fall area, just click on the newest cut falls. What you're going to see is we have some new customizable cut files. So if you all are on the fence about saying yes to membership, I want you to think about using some of these customizable cut files when you become a member. And what we mean by that is just scrolling down and looking for any cut fall that has this right here. So it actually has a little um, star and a little, you know, edible icon. And this right here is super, super fun. So that means you can customize the cut fall. Um, all four, or all, you know, all four of these on the screen, you can do that. Um, I absolutely love being able to put in different definitions for your grandma or Lauren. I mean, oh, down south, we call people Mima, Mama, mm -hmm. Nana. You know, there's so Grandma, yes, <laughs> yes. So what, you know, just taking this example, you would be able to have the design of this cut file already laid out, but maybe you have other, other ways to describe your family member or anything like that. Okay, so you're gonna be able to personalize the file with different fonts. So what we're gonna be able to do is show you exactly how to use those today. We're super excited. So let's scroll down. We're using the, this is us. This is us. Oh, the Canadian ones, thanks, Sin. Um, we are customizing the, this is us option today. And I'm gonna teach you how to do that, okay? So all you need to do is we are gonna be able to download this. And when you download this, being a Makers Gonna Learn member, you're going to see here that you're going to get everything you need. So let's click download. And once you've downloaded this right here, I love all the shout outs. We've got a Mima, we got Mimi, uh, Canadian, woohoo, um, Grammy. Oh, I love Grammy. Um, and yes, so I've downloaded the cut file. 
um, zip file. And once we open it, here's the secret, my friends. You're gonna open this up and there's gonna be four files. You're gonna have an SVG, like normal, a PNG, like normal, but you're getting two additional cut files. You're getting a curly sue and an elephant letter. Now these are, again, already in your zip file. So you just wanna make sure these editable files are saved to your computer, okay? That is what you're gonna to wanna to make sure you're able to do today. Once you have uploaded um, and saved the fonts by going ahead and clicking on elephant letters, clicking install font, bringing it in, repeating the process to your other file, things like that, um, you will have all of that installed, which is incredible. And now what you'll be able to do is actually bring in that SVG. So let's click upload. Let's click upload image and let's drag and drop that cut file today. So just like normal, the SVG. Now, unless your last name is Burke, which would be very handy, Lauren. I mean, absolutely. The the Burke family is. If we have any, if we have any members with the last name Burke, this is for you, actually. All you have to do is <laughs> size it and go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but this is actually in a few different colors, and that's very intentional today, my friends. I want to make sure you are aware. You are able to turn on and off, like, oh, I don't want the greenery, or I can turn that off oh, I don't want, you know, all of this right here, turn that off. Or you can go ahead and, you know, turn off the uh, fonts. And if anyone ever leaves a comment on a live saying, can someone answer my question, please repost the question instead of asking because we can't find it. Um, if you're wanting a more personalized approach with Makers Gonna Learn, we have a customer care team that's available um, seven days a week, and you can email them hi at makersgonnalearn.com. So anyway, what I wanna share with you is how easy it is to truly customize this. So before we jump in to editing this and hiding layers, I wanna use this as inspiration. So we are going to bring up first the, the font that is the B, and the font for B is actually curly Q. So I'm gonna to go to text. I'm gonna go and change this out to curly, um, curly Q. And for this one, we're gonna do Crawford, so capital C. This is for Caitlin. And you can scale it up and you can size it, okay? So Lauren, here's my secret. To make sure it's sized appropriately to fit the designer's like interest, mm -hmm. look at this. I'm just gonna put it on top. It's gonna look a little, you know, a little, little um, funny for a second, but have no fear. We're gonna grab another text box and we are going to grab elephant letters. And here's elephant letters. And all we're gonna top in capital, we're gonna top Crawford family. Whoops. And look at this. Scale it down. It's a longer name, so you can choose to just have it a little bit smaller, which is fun. And I'm just gonna center this up. And once you're good to go there, you are actually just go hide that B letter. So hide that layer and boom. Look at that. I love it. And I didn't have to worry about spacing. I didn't have to worry about setting it up because if I unhide this layer, Boom. I mean, it looks overwhelming now, right. but everything's laid out perfectly, Lauren. Uh -huh. I mean, think about this. This kind of takes the, the thought out of it. It takes the guesswork out of everything. I, that was really easy even for me. Yeah. No thought. Mm -hmm. So hiding that layer and then boom, my last step is actually to select all of these layers because, you know, we could turn different one on and off. We can go ahead and just weld it. So you can click weld and this is now all one cut fall. So as I scale it up and down, it's one beautiful cut fall. So since I brought this in here to scale appropriately, I can just size it for my actual uh, cutting board. I had a question, Lauren, and I want to hear your thoughts on this. Okay. So some of the friends were saying, Tanner, could we 
put heat that. transfer vinyl uh -huh. on the back. So my friends, if we put heat transfer vinyl on the back, you're gonna be able to see the texture. And Lauren, I personally don't think you could read it too well. What do you think? What do you think? I mean, if you're doing like, so it's I- It's a hard one. I think you could see that this is us. I think you could see the yeah. C. Yeah. And I think you might, might be able to read Crawford Family. I don't think the script font is yeah. something you're gonna be able to read. It's a very textured, it's very textured. <laughs> so you wanna be careful um, and you know, kinda just be mindful of it um, and things like that. So that is really impressive. But guys, what did you think about those amazing, amazing customizable cut files? Okay, so as you can see on my left, you have a really dirty mat and on your right, you have a really clean mat. Now, how I got here was actually cleaning it with a baby wipe. I did this in a YouTube video last February. So I actually compared cleaning mats three ways. My baby wipe is my favorite way. So Lauren, we were talking about this at the beginning of the show. Mm -hmm. This mat has been loved on. Mm -hmm. It is not sticky, mm -mm. not anymore. But this mat used to be that same stickiness and as you can tell, she's sticky again. She's sticky now. So this baby wipe is actually going to remove all the gunk and what it's gonna do is kind of bring back that adhesive because underneath here, the adhesive is still there. It's just covered up with debris. So we're gonna start working in a small corner and we're gonna rub in a circular motion and we're applying some firm pressure, but not too much. If you apply too much pressure, it is actually going to remove the adhesive and we don't want that. Um, but you can use some firm pressure to get this debris off and you can see if you're in certain lot, the texture of the adhesive um, that is still there. So I don't think if you're worried like, what happens if I rub off the adhesive? No, you're good, you're good. Don't, don't worry about that. I mean, look at this debris. Oh my, ooh, look mm -hmm. at that. Is that not crazy? <laughs> oh my goodness, yeah. So anyway, look at this, corner's already good. What you're gonna see here is before your eyes, this is gonna be clean, and after it dries, your mat is gonna be perfectly brand new. Um, while it's still moist and wet from the baby wipe, it's of course not gonna be sticky. But after you let it dry, if you're impatient like me, I, rub, I wave mine in the air. So I'll do that just to demonstrate here in a moment. Um, and these mats get a lot of love here at the office. So we wanna make sure we get our money's worth because um, we are definitely economical crafters here. Mm -hmm. um, so the baby wipe method is so good. I mean, Lauren, before our eyes, we're almost done. This isn't even a, I didn't have to go to a sink. That's probably my favorite thing about this. It's not too messy. Right. Um, which is like very much important, important steps for me as a crafter. Someone asked about those wipes being oily. Um, this is actually... Just a Walmart brand, right? Yeah, but it's free of alcohol. It's free of a lot of the dyes. Uh, there's no oil, really. I, I don't know, I change diapers every day now, so yeah. I don't have any issues using baby wipes. If you do have an issue using a baby wipe, what you can do is follow the Dawn dish soap method. I love the Dawn dish soap method. Yeah, but, that was always my go-to. But you have to be at a sink. I know, and, and I get that. my craft table's not at a sink. I, so. I completely get that, but I was just always, I went with, I was a Dawn dish soap yeah. person. I, love, I mean, the dish soap does work really well. It works extremely well, and it'd probably get a little bit more, but a pack of baby wops from the dollar store, this, you know, mat, you're gonna have the stickiness back. The pink mat is for cutting fabric. So we are actually cutting fabric today this is our piece of fabric and the crickets go do literally all the hard work. So we are going to just grab my scissors. I need to cut a smaller piece off before we put it on Those the mat. These are not fabric scissors. These are not fabric scissors, Lauren. I am so glad you you mentioned that. Um, would you like to tell us your thoughts about using regular scissors on fabric? Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> Don't do so it. That's a good that that's a good thought. That's a pet peeve. <laughs> uh, yeah, Courtney and Lauren. Actually, I think it's more like the regular scissors on fabric, whatever, but it's the fabric scissors on, on regular paper, paper yeah, that really I bothers agree. me. I agree that I'm with you when it comes to that because y'all, it is so special. So we asked they ask a question about the pink and purple mats. So it 
there there are purple fabric grip mats. It's just these are the are, nickable but I believe mats, the, right? Yeah, they're off the brand. Cricket is also, Cricket is pink. Yeah, but there's some purple ones that are... That are strong grip at Cricket. Yeah. So anytime we talk about colors, we're talking true Cricket brand. Um, if an off brand does something a little bit different, that's when you just got to... You gotta read on it, so it just it should tell you what what grip it is on it. Um, if you're using nice off-brand <laughs> products, if that makes sense, I like to use a brayer to get some of these bubbles out. I do not have my brayer right now, which is fun. You get to see me just like yeah, it wasn't peel it. here when I was filming either. Oh no, <laughs> we can peel it up and you know just replace it. Like have no fear. This is really easy. That's why you have two hands. So anyway, we apply this down. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Look at this. And ta-da. So now our fabric is down on our mat and you guys can see there are no imperfections at all. Like this is down, it's good. We are super excited. What we're gonna do is we are going to be able to go ahead and um, go over to the Cricut and or design space and finish a few steps. Denise says, is there another mat you can use for fabric? I don't have a pink mat. Um, if you're using a maker, I highly recommend this mat. Um, that's just my personal take. So you could try another mat, but this will give you optimal results. So we'll click make it and we are going to cut on the mat and we're gonna press continue and we're cutting the blue circle. I'm just moving it over. Ta -da! Okay, so now we'll click continue and yes, Anna, the the fabric grip is totally different than the strong grip. So yeah, we'll browse material. Now, Lauren, here, I want you to give me what should what should this is a thicker cotton. No, <laughs> this is a thicker cotton. So what do you think we should set that on? Hmm. I'm gonna see their cotton options. Yeah. Light like cotton, three layers, medium light cotton. No. Hmm, this is, could be interesting. I just wanna see what they offer when it comes to, let's just scroll down. So fabric, we could cut it as burlap, burlap's thick. Yeah. Let's cut it as canvas, cause it is a thicker cottony material and it's a circle shape, but yeah. it is a different, it's a little different. Or you could just try it on the, um, what was the cotton options? Oh, there was a few, there was a medium like, um, option. Hmm. You can always try it on more pressure. That's true. That's when true. in doubt, always add more pressure. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking canvas. I, I feel safe with canvas. Okay. It'll be pretty thick, and I'm gonna give it a little bit more pressure too, because I want yeah. this. I want this to cut flawless. Like we're on live, so we want to be. We want to make sure you guys are taken care of. Now, for my Explore friends, let's head over to the Cricut. If you are using an Explore, you will use. You don't have, you'll use like a light grip to a restraint standard grip mat because your fabric is going to be bonded. What you can bond your fabric with, um, they have it in the sewing area. Um, it is like easy bond heat or and bond. heat and bond. Thank you. It is called yeah. heat and bond. It works flawlessly. Yeah. Um, and I love it. And look at this. We're just going to load this in. Ta da! It's going to go ahead and measure our mat. And what we need to do before we press that flashing play button is we are gonna change out these blades. One thing I wanna let you all know, your rotary blade should always naturally rotate. So make sure it's never too taut there. That's something I learned working um, in partnership with Cricut. And once it's there, boom. Once you're ready, press that play button and we're gonna watch it cut on right here. So woohoo. I learned how to use Dishwasher Safe Mod Podge for tumblers and sealing, but didn't realize how easy this product is to use, Aaron. I'm so glad you learned that from a Maker's Gonna Learn video. You're amazing. Okay, so. <laughs> oh my goodness. Still oh. not cutting through? No, 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 it is. Okay, so we're gonna unload the mat. Okay. All right, let's go overhead. Dun, dun, dun. It's like, Tanner, we didn't do anything. What's happening? <gasps> Look at that. I know. How about it? It's always so How? satisfying. <laughs> it really is. I love that. Okay, so we can peel this up. I, can we just brag on the Cricut? I could never 
cut the circle with scissors. Mm -mm. Just a preference. Like this is something you would never be able to do, okay? So we have our circle over here. All we're gonna do is peel off these little sticky um, grips. They're so sticky that we'll actually be able to just peel them right, put them right back in place. I'm just keeping them to the side, okay? So peeling them off. Now what we'll do now is all we're gonna do is grab our um, paintbrush and we're gonna grab our Mod Podge. Cut off. Get us quite a bit here. And we're gonna start a nice coat right here. Love this. And this is gonna be like a medium coat. So Diana asked, I got here late, can you use a spray on Mod Podge? So we're, this is actually dishwasher safe. So it's not the same as the spray on. Correct. And this is just gonna be even more durable. So yeah. if you don't want it to be durable, use spray, use, use whatever you want. You can, I support whatever you all want. Remember that. Okay. I forgot to set this up for you guys to see on camera. Oh my gosh, look at this. So this is actually amazing. So we'll actually seal any edges that we need to, um, but the circle was perfect. So I'm gonna go remove off some Mod Podge and Mod Podge is just like a thick glue. So you can like rub it to your finger if it gets on there um, and that's awesome. But what we need to do now is we need to do three coats. So we need to do three coats here to our Mod Podge now that it's glued down. So I'm just gonna grab my Mod Podge. I'm just gonna start applying some Mod Podge on here. It's really interesting to watch this Mod Podge like seep into the fabric. Mm -hmm. So you can like take it over here to the edges, make sure it is covered, things like that. Love it, love it, love it, love it. So, so good. Yes, so Orwell, with the Cricut, with the Cricut Air, can they cut with the Cricut Air or is it just Explore? So the Cricut so Explore Air. Air. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm you, getting real confused. It's okay. So yes, we are saying that you can cut fabric with the Cricut yes. Explore Air, whatever. Just follow the proper procedure, You the are proper going steps. to add heat and bond or bond your yes. fabric first. And there's a bonded fabric setting yes. on the Cricut. So you don't have to like try to do any crazy like, oh my gosh, what setting do I use? Tanner, help me. No, the Cricut's already got you. The Cricut's got you. Bonded fabric, you're not the first person to cut bonded fabric, which is awesome. Should you use your brayer over the cloth when you first put it down to avoid bubbles? You can if you I want to. I did not to. have a be, single. But we don't have one in here right now. Yeah, I didn't have a single issue. So that's just my personal experience. Notice I am just working on these edges because they want, I want them to look so good and finished. So I'm just like applying it down with my finger and then just taking it brushing some on here. It's actually a really fun project, guys. Like, I I love doing something a little bit different. I feel like sometimes the projects we do are all kind of the same, and this is something totally different. And we did have somebody say earlier how this was such a, um, the, like such a good return on investment kind yes. of thing if you do craft fairs. And this is one where you can actually make these ahead of time with the fabric behind it. Yeah. And then bring, if you bring your Cricut with you or depending on what size, if you had like a joy, you could pack it up and bring it yes. with you and customize it so easily. Mm -hmm. And when you customize it, instead of just saying, um, you know, welcome to my home family or, or welcome yeah. home and you actually put somebody's name on it, you can just charge a couple value. more dollars. Yeah, it ups the value, which we are super, um, all about here at Makers Gonna Learn. We love that. And I'm trying to think if there's anything I can prop this up on, but I guess I'll just hold it. So we're gonna let this coat draw. So now is a great time. Hey. You guys know. So um, I'm just making sure there's no excess Mod Podge because we don't want that on here. Love that. Rubbed a little off. Okay. So that is already set. Um, and as you can see, like once it's set, it's like not tacky or anything. Like it's pretty draw. Um, now what we're going to do is just have it here and we are going to, I already cut out and um, weeded our project today. So this is the This Is Us, which we designed together, customized. 
and we cut it. So I'm going to preheat my mini easy press to level, you know, I'm going to level three because this is on glass and it's texture glass. So this is the only part of the process that you may, that is gonna be the hardest. So um, definitely get excited for learning about this and it is so, so exciting um, and we cannot wait. And we're going to um, start easy pressing. So this is exciting. So I like to kind of give everything a hit um, before it you know, can move around. And then after it's hit, we can go into any detail spots, okay? So now we can start peeling up here. And look at that. This is us, looks good. This looks good. This area needs a little bit more. So then we come in here, rub, rub, rub. Look at that. And then this letter, the Y over here. So I'm gonna switch hands. And you can see this needs to be down better. And look guys, when you take this nice and slow, you're not going to have any, any issues whatsoever, which is what we love. Look at how great this is. Oh my goodness, I love that. That is that. But look at this guys. Now you have your amazing, amazing plate. Um, and it's super awesome. You can also check out the one we did earlier so you could do more, um, you know, other patterns. This gives you an idea of, you know, there's some people that may have different last names and things like that. You don't have to do one of these. You could do either one um, and it is super fun. I will tell you, Lauren, I thought about flipping the glass since I took the little bottom pieces off. I thought about decoupaging onto the textured side mm -hmm. and being able to do the heat transfer on the other side. But then I was like, you know, I don't want to confuse anybody today. Right. So I'm adding my grips back. But that's the cool thing about these Dollar Tree, um, that like the Dollar Tree cutting boards that you get or really anything um, that you're crafting with is it's so inexpensive that you can try out these different things. Well, like you can try. I mean, how much do we really have invested here? A dollar. 25 cutting board or dollar 10. What's the new Dollar Tree price? A dollar? I don't know. I don't know. Um, you have the cutting board, you have the piece of fabric, and you have the heat transfer vinyl. And really, That's you it. could do that with scrap vinyl. Oh, yeah. Scrap pieces of fabric, too. I mean, these are eight inch by eight inch pieces. Yeah. Nothing insane. And you guys can rock your world with these projects, which is what we super, super love. And we're so, so excited that you were able to do that. So this is your project today, my friends. What questions do you have? Let us know here in the comments. I'm going to go join Lauren with my water. Okay, let's go. Let's go over here and see what we've got. So hi, if you guys did not see the thumbnail for some reason, this is what we're gonna be making today. So we have the entire busy book. So this is my baby is Ruby and she can't play with these. She's too little, but we use her name. If you see Ruby, <laughs> I literally use it for everything. Ruby do. Yeah, a little Ruby do. Um, and then we have this little play tray. So this is actually, y'all, this fits on the, like on their car seat. So like if they're sitting in their car seat, this sits perfectly on the edges of the car seat, which is awesome because it's magnetic. Um, you can do some like magnetic uh, puzzle crafts, which we're actually gonna be filming uh -huh. or, do, or we're doing a live for that. We're here. doing a live. I'm gonna be making a, a magnetic puzzle. Like yeah. Puzzle. So that would be awesome for these, don't yes. you think? I think that would be so cute. Um, but the trays are just, they help so that nothing is like rolling around in the car, which Honestly, it's probably gonna roll around a little bit, but that's fine. Um, I would like to show you guys everything that we have here. So I've got, um, this is the Caesar Easy Weed, or I'm sorry, this is the Caesar Transfer Tape. I always say Caesar Easy Weed. I don't think that's what it's called. Um, and then obviously you're gonna need a binder. You're gonna need a tray. I've gotten almost everything here from the Dollar Tree. I'm trying to think. The card stock's not from the Dollar Tree and I think that's it. I mean, other than like things like a squeegee and this, most of this stuff is from the Dollar Tree. Um, I've got some markers here. These are just like the Crayola markers and look how cute this little cone is. Like, are you kidding me? I'm obsessed with it. 
Let's go overhead and let me show you guys all of the other things that I've got here. So this is overwhelming, I feel like, but we have listed everything in the description for you all. Um, I've got some pom-poms. I've got popsicle sticks. So these are like basic things you may even have laying around your house already. Um, I've got these gallon size Ziploc bags. These are super handy because they, they are the zippy ones and I feel like the kids can get into them a lot easier. I've got some card sock right here that coordinates with our little puffer balls. They need to be matching because we're gonna do a matching activity with those. And then this is a printout for a puzzle we're gonna be making with the popsicle sticks. I've got a pink binder, obviously. Weeding tool, brayer, measuring. Um, this is just painter's tape. I don't know why I could not find the words for that. Um, and then I'm using a lots of holographic vinyl. I feel like this is very sensory. This is very sensory, like for kids. Like y'all, I still am obsessed with holographic. Like I literally love it. It makes Glitter, me so happy. Holographic, shiny. I want it all. Obsessed. Like, like this is opalescent blue. Are you kidding me? I that makes it. me so happy. It, me too. It reminds me of the ocean also. And then I've got a three hole punch, some scissors and just a standard grip mat and obviously our Cricut. So what I think we should do first, let's start by decorating our binder. So I'm gonna hop over to Design Space and I'm gonna show you guys how I laid everything out in order to actually do our little binder. So let's see, I'm gonna go ahead, let's just delete this cause I can show you guys. So I'm just going to make a text and I'm using the chiffon font for all of this and I'm using a couple of our cut files, but today we're going to be doing Annie's Busy Book. I'm going to blow this up so we can see what we're doing. And then we'll put Busy Book. And I'm just going to pull this to the length of the word Annie's. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to show you guys where I got the file to use for the flowers. You can type in, it's actually called family. It's under like the family category, but I'm going to cut out the flowers out of this file because I thought the flowers were really cute and kind of groovy. And so know I'm about pretty that. sure we've downloaded this, like me and you specifically, like two or three times and tried to use it on like a few different projects. It's just these flowers. Those flowers, I know. Out of that I know. File. I love them. I just, I think they're really cute. So um, I downloaded it. I already had uploaded it earlier. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull this in. And all you're going to do once it gets in here is ungroup. And we don't need this family forever. We also don't really need two sets of flowers. So you can contour this out. I'm just going to hide all contours. And then we need the middle of that flower. And you can duplicate this as many times as you want. So like if you wanted to have six flowers, you can duplicate it. I'm just gonna do two flowers, just like this. And then that's kind of our design. So Sin loves the flowers too. I think they're very cute. So what we're gonna do next is I'm gonna add an offset to the flowers. So I just selected both of them. And I'm going to do a, let's do a little bit smaller than that. Let's just do like a 0.1 offset. Oops, I didn't apply it. Let's go back. It doesn't need to be like a huge offset or anything, just so we can add a little something, something behind add it. A all. little flare. A little flare. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same thing here. Go ahead and apply that. And that's our design. So the way that I've laid it out in Design Space here, is Annie's Busy Book, that's gonna be a color. All of the offsets are gonna be a color, including the words for the off, the offset for the words as well as the offset for the flowers. That's gonna be the same color. And then the flowers will be their own color. So we can go ahead and send that through the Cricut. And then when it cuts out, I've already cut out and weeded this so you guys can see, but I have not um, actually attached the layers. If we can just go overhead, I'll show you guys. So, I did my offset in this holographic blue and I've already put um, transfer tape over top of this. So it's very pretty. I'm obsessed. I'm going to make some room so we have room to like. 
And breathe. while she's making room, if there's anything that we are going too fast on or you all yes. need help or want to ask questions, like definitely um, ask those questions. I'm over here in the comments checking all of the comments. So make sure you um, ask us those questions if we are going a little too fast. That way we can answer them. Yes, because I have like a lot of little tidbits to go through with you guys. So I also want to mention um, before you make it that you are not making it gigantic. So like... Make sure, like on this one, on Ruby's Busy Book, I took a tape measure and made sure it was no bigger. Like this is 10 inches. And then the Ruby was only like seven and three quarters of an inch wide. So make sure you're making sure that your text is not bigger than your binder. And what we'll do next is get our binder. And I'm gonna go ahead, you can do this a couple different ways. I could, layer that I could have not put transfer tape on this and then layered this all and then put the whole sticker on the book um, but I already have transfer tape over it so we're going to go ahead and stick the offset onto our binder so we filled this baby up we filled to it the brim which I, I mean I like it I do too oh I didn't realize this was like solid blue on the back that's kind of cool Cool. And so you could put it at the bottom, the top, in the middle, whatever your heart desires. And we're just going to go for it. If you guys watch me put vinyl on, just close your eyes, okay? <laughs> I am a winner. This would be a really good time to use like the taco method or yes, anything. The parchment like that. paper. Parchment method. paper. Yes, all of those, all of the above. And then we're just going to peel our transfer off. Ooh. I love that color. I'm sitting here over the. I'm sitting over here in the corner, like trying to like speak at it and look. Yeah, I'm gonna scooch over. Can you see it now? Yeah, okay. I can see it now. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and attach our holographic, and I need to burnish it a little bit more. Are you guys like keeping up? Am I going too? <laughs> am I going too fast? Let me know if I am. Now this is where the parchment paper hack would probably come into like be helpful yes i agree so what you would do if you were going to use the parchment paper is you would peel this off and i don't not i have not utilized this hack maybe like once my this does not want to stick for some reason um but you would peel your second layer off and you would stick the parchment paper to this layer mm -hmm. And then you would lay it on top you and kind of get a little bit on the outside. Yeah, like mm -hmm. you would leave a lip over here mm -hmm. and you would peel it back. So like if this were the parchment paper, you would slowly like peel it out. So it was perfectly aligned with this. And it really does seem to help. I mean, I see people using it all the time. This holographic uh, vinyl is finicky. I will say that I do love it, but it can be very hard to get off of the like backer if that makes sense have you used it a lot not a whole lot but i have used it a few times and it is it can be it can little. be very finicky but and i also want to say whenever you go to cut it there is a holographic vinyl setting that you can use um and i i apply more pressure that way whenever it goes to cut it goes all the way through and it may even go through your backer but sometimes if i don't put more pressure it doesn't even cut through my vinyl so, yeah. like, I feel like I would rather it cut through my backer a little bit than... Does that make sense? Right. Like, so, I would rather it do that than not. So, um, for those that didn't hear, like, weren't if you weren't paying attention, if you're using the holographic vinyl, there is that holographic setting. We like to use that plus a, doing the more pressure. Yes. Just to make sure it gets that good crisp cut. I don't know why this is, like, not wanting to come off. Some of it's coming off. We're getting there. We're getting places. Um, what's everybody saying? What's Carol talking about fonts? I see her up there chit-chatting. She said down. She said I was helping a member find a font down the rabbit hole. I went. To, I had to make a new to-do list because they are so cute. And now she has a list of ten fonts that she wants to use in the next month. Oh, that's a good goal. Yeah, like a font usage goal. We we love a good font here. We do. We're font people. I, me particularly, I love fonts. Y'all, this is not normal. I'm just going to say that. I've been filming all morning, and I think I'm just having bad luck with the cricket today. 
but we're almost there. We've almost got it. Okay, I've got it. I got it off, <laughs> finally. And then, so we're just gonna line this up right on our offset, and there are ways to do this too. Listen, don't come for me. Okay, you guys, I'm an eyeballer. It's who I am as a person. And that's okay. It is okay. It's just who I am. Oh, what did I do here? Why is it? Oh, wait, maybe I'm right. No, this is right. Okay. I'm lining up my flowers. I don't know. I feel I, like in crafting, you don't have to take it so seriously. Like, right. In life, I take everything a little bit more seriously. Crafting, I don't have to. Like, what's it going to hurt if I mess up? Like, what's yeah. it going to hurt if you don't line something up correctly? It's not. It's not going to hurt anybody. But anyways, let's look at this in front. Y'all. I love it. I love it. This makes me so happy. So, Kathy says, I wish I could so now that we've got our book um if you have like if you wanted to you could do the same design on your tray but we put ruby's play tray so you could just do the same similar pattern on here if you wanted to um we kind of coordinated the colors like these colors match that book um, but you could do the same thing with this um, so that's an option too but what we're going to do next, let's start with a simple one. Let's start with our pom-pom. So what you're going to need for this one is colored cardstock and your pom-pom. So these right here, okay? I've got coordinating colors for each color of my palms. And can I just say, Alicia spent so much time, like, actually researching, like, true sensory stuff for kids and what is best. And I've... I love it. I know, it's just The teacher fun. in me, it makes my teacher heart happy. Oh, I'm sure, I'm sure. So you can see there's a color for each puffer. I'm gonna show you guys what we're actually making. So when you open up this book, we've got our little first sensory activity right here. And I have hole punched the Ziploc bags at the bottom. Um, Sin actually, if you see Sin chit chat, and she was at our content meeting and she helped us um, actually come up with this idea and she mentioned to sew it and I'll show you guys I sewed one together I'll show you guys um, the sewn one but for this project we just punched the holes and then we got an old not an old I bought this from the Dollar Tree um, this is like a little medicine uh, I don't know what you call it like a pill box uh -huh. yeah a pill box and inside of each the top of each one we put the colored card stock so the kids on their little tray and you could put magnets on the back of this so it didn't slide around everywhere. But on their little tray, you can throw all the little pom-poms and they can put, they can match the colors to the pom-poms. Does that make sense? And it's the sensory part of like touching the pom-poms. Yeah, they're Putting soft. it in there. Yes. Then opening and closing the lids is another part of the sensory activity that we yes. love. Oh yeah, and then they can close it in there. Love that. Another thing with the pom-poms while we're talking about it is you can use little straws. So I got these at the Dollar Tree as well, and they're so cute. They can blow these around just like this. I mean, kids love stuff like that. Yeah. Like, the, I just love children so much because they're so amused by, like, the most simplest things. But, I know. So you can throw some little paper straws in there. I'm not going to stick that back in because uh, germs, you know. Germs, you know. Um, so anyways, what I did to do this was just measure out the size of each of these little things and you can just take your little measuring tool and this one is one inch wide by an inch and a half tall and so we can hop into design space and I'm just gonna make some little rectangles an inch by an inch and a half and I mean this is one too like if you didn't want you are like using your Cricut gets that exact measurement on each and on every one of those but mm -hmm. it's also one of those things, like, if you just wanted to measure on the cardstock if you, to make a quick one. Oh, yeah. You could just cut them yourself. Oh, yeah. You totally, if you didn't want to take the time to do this. But I just want to show you guys, you know, if you want to, you can totally How do to. this. Yeah. Absolutely. And then you're just going to duplicate it. So we've got, obviously, seven days of the week. So you could duplicate it seven times. Um, and then you can just cut all these out. Now, if you wanted to cut them all out at the same time, let me show you guys what, what I would do. So we've got seven. I'm just going to go ahead and delete this. We don't need it. I've got seven little squares. And then we can come over to make it. 
if you wanted to do this. I feel like it's a lot of work for a little square, um, but if you mm -hmm. want a perfect square, uh, what you can do is line these up right at a, like a measurement. So like I'm going to put that one right at the four. I'm going to put this one right at the eight. And then I'm going to repeat this right here. And what I can do is if we go overhead, you can put your cardstock on your mat. Because if you made like three of these, I mean, it might be like if you have three kids, it might be quicker for you to just cut the squares out. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Where did I throw my scissors? I just, oh, here they are. I found them. Okay. So what you could do is just, if you've got scrap laying around, you can kind of slap this on here. So we've got one up in the corner. We put one right at the four mark. And I can't cut straight because of who I am as a person. Um, so I don't try to do that. I'm just going to line that up right at the four and you're going to lay them right at the marks where you put it, um, for it to cut just like these. And then it looks like our other ones, let's go to design space. It looks like our other ones are right between the three and the four. I'm going to actually scooch them over to right at the five mark. So we have an exact measurement. This one will be right at the five and the four. I hope this isn't confusing you guys. I want it to be very simple. So one thing, somebody asked where you could figure out what activity is best for each age group. Um, you, we did research. If you are doing your research, um, you can just like Google sensory activities for whatever age uh, child you have, grandchild, yes. whatever. Pinterest. Um, Pinterest the really me. good ones, this is just the teacher coming out in me come from an educational site, which is a .edu, an organization, things like that. There are some other good ones that you're gonna find like mm -hmm. at a commercial site, but like the ones that are backed by research, you're gonna find at a .org or a .edu. That's a good point. That's a really good like point that. to make, yeah. I never have thought about that, but I wish that, if I knew that, I would have straight up done it that way. Okay, and then I'm just gonna like braid these down, make sure they stick. And then we can send this through the Cricut. And while that cuts, um, I'll show you guys some more oh, stuff. Oh, somebody's asking about that brand mat. That is from Amazon, correct? Yes, it's a do halo, do hello, do hollow. We don't, I don't know. know how, I don't know how um, you say it. We but... got it to test oh, out the different types of uh, mats, right? Yes. To so... see if we could find like the cheapest one that we liked the best. Yes. And this was one that we really ended up blocking. Listen, I'm married to this black center grip mat. I have used it nonstop for like a week and a half. It's just, I just love it. I don't know. It just works really good. It's just a standard grip. I wish the colors, they kept the colors the same just so people don't get like confused. Like what's a black mat, you know? Yeah. Um, sorry, you guys, I forgot to put my seventh color block on there. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that and maybe. Let's continue, and we're using a maker today, and I'm just gonna do heavy cardstock on default pressure. And with all of the ones, all of the activities that we did, correct me if I'm wrong, we just used a fine point blade, so this could be yeah. done on a maker, explorer. We use a marker for one. Marker. Yeah, we do but, use a marker. But if you can put a marker, or like um, if you have the pin function with your Cricut, then yeah. you should be able, you should be Maker fine. or explorer. Yeah. Oops. I don't want to throw those away in case you want to use it. Okay, so I'm going to let those cut. Um, now, you can attach these with tape. You can use an ATG gun. I did not grab my ATG gun, but that's totally There might be one in the drawer. These really, oh, you know what? I bet there is. I feel like I just saw it. Bottom, next one. And you can honestly even super glue. Did you guys use it in here? I thought we did. You can super glue. You can hot glue. Um whatever's gonna work. I like it to be clear is the only thing. I'm just gonna use the stat blue. It's you not big still deal. just have six colors. Somebody just used two pinks. Well, cause I only have, we only have that many colors in our pom poms. So I'll put two, like on this one, I use two purples. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. I Since didn't notice that. I didn't have seven pom pom colors. I only oh. have six pom pom colors. Okay, they're cut, they're cut. So, also, I use the ATG tape, and some of my squares try to come out, so maybe super gluing is the way to go. 
but with the ATG, you're going to be able to like slide these out. Okay. So they're all cut. Look, perfect little squares. I would have never been able to do that with my own hands. So that's good. Why does this remind me of Monsters, Inc.? It does. The doors on Monsters, Inc.? Yeah. Monsters, Inc.'s like one of my favorites of all time. Okay. Whoop. I'm going to take these off very delicately. And then I'm just going to put like a single dot of this DAP glue. It's basically just super glue. And they are going to go right inside of our little pill box. Did you link that mat or do we link the Nikapa mats in the description? I probably linked the Nikapa mats because these just popped up in our, our office like a week or so ago. Okay. Um, but I can get a link for these. Yeah, somebody was asking for a link for that. Yeah, absolutely. I would love to do that. Let me um, pull. I just want to see how well that this dab glue sticks. We won't pull all these out. I just kind of want to show you guys. So, like, I had the ATG gun I used for that, and it works pretty good. But I'm just going to put a dot of this on here. So, we did not use alcohol to clean the binder um, before we put the design on there. Um, Alicia just put the design on there straight on the binder. I just With, live my life on the edge, you guys. You know. That's just who I am. Yep. Okay. You could use alcohol to clean it. Like, if it's got stuff on it, I would definitely use alcohol to clean it, but we... We just didn't. We just didn't this time. Okay. But that is something that we do clean a lot of our stuff with. Oh, yeah. We use, we have little alcohol things laying around everywhere. Yeah. Okay. So, this is the thing. My dab glue doesn't want to come out. Um, but you could use super glue. You could also just put like a little dot of hot glue on there. Whatever's going to let it stick. And then you're good to go. That's all for that one. So, pretty cool. I mean, that's really easy. Yeah. I feel like that's a super simple little project you can throw together. And honestly, you probably already got some of this stuff laying around. So, like, if you're, like, the day of and you think, oh, my gosh, I need to put together something so the kids are distracted on this 10-hour road trip. Uh -huh. We also talked about how Time each bag out. should be, like, a 30-minute yep. game. Like, if you're going for 10 hours, I would say you need, I don't want to say you need 20 that's Maybe a lot. put them in a rotation. Maybe, okay, so if you were on a like five hour road trip, come up with ten sensory games if that makes sense. And I mean or, that it may it some of the some kids may like certain activities better than they like the others. Yeah, yeah, that's very true. Like that one's gonna be a lot more for I don't wanna I don't wanna say twelve to like eighteen months, maybe. Probably, yeah. Or maybe, maybe even like maybe even a little older. A little yeah, yeah. I don't know. You might you probably know better. I than mean, me. Annie Scott, I could see her putting those pom poms straight into her mouth. Oh, my child, anything she touches, straight to the straight mouth. Straight to the mouth. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, I, am I missing any conversation? You're pretty on top of it, Lauren. Yeah, no, so we're not, good. Okay, so first one down. I want to show you guys this next one. I was really excited about this. Um, I didn't know if it was going to work and honestly said a prayer before this live that um, it would work today because it worked the first time <laughs> I did it last time. It worked the first time I did it and I thought, oh man, I don't know if it's going to work again. So what I've got is popsicle sticks and I thought it would be really cool to do a puzzle. Um, but this is a popsicle stick puzzle so it's a little bit easier. And what we did before we do anything, I'm just going to kind of lay these out and show you guys what I mean. We're going to basically be making a little like this. So I'm going to kind of square these up. I'm going to tape these onto our Cricut mat and we're going to use a Crayola marker. Can they see those, Sadie? We're going to use a Crayola marker and we're going to draw this design onto that. So that way the kids can actually make their own little puzzle. I feel like that's so fun. I love that Very idea. Fun. So let's go into design space on the computer. And you're gonna actually need the SVG of this image. So I just searched for camper on the Makers Gonna Learn website. Um, here is our image. I think that's the SVG. And when you pull it in, it's gonna be under a basic cut function. I need this just to be a pin function. And then what you'll do is take your little measuring tape and we're going to measure out how big you want it. So the one that I just laid out, let's see, there's three, six, there's 10 popsicle sticks. And it's about a little over three and a half wide. 
by four and a half tall. So I need this to, at least, like, I need it to be un within those measurements. So let's do, uh-oh, my shape's unlocked. It's going to look weird if I do it without it being locked. Let's I hate when that happens. Mine has been, I've been opening, I've opened so many images and mm -hmm. it's unlocked when I open it and I just don't think and I go in to click it and then it and gets it all wonky. gets all wonky, yeah. So we, let's see. Let's try to do it at four. So that puts it at four by three, which is within our parameters. And then what we're going to do is we'll go to make it on mat. Oh, why did it do our little thing separately? Let's make sure everything is attached. I'm just going to click and drag, make sure everything's attached. It's still in the pin function. Let's go to make it. And then before we actually click continue, we're going to tape these down with painter's tape. So I've just got my standard grip mat. And I'm going to pull these. While you're doing that, Diana says, I picked up a little journal from Dollar Tree that on the front says, great ideas start here. And when watching you ladies, I write down the projects and what day you watch the tutorial. I love that. Aww. That is so sweet. That's awesome. I love that too. And this is also something if you are making one for um, your kids, grandkids, whoever, I could also see this as being um, something that you, maybe you don't have a, maybe you're not selling your crafts right now, but if you're making this for one child and you're like, hey, I'm making this busy book for my grandchild, would anyone else be interested in buying one? Yeah. This would be so easy for you just to go ahead and put two or three together mm -hmm. and maybe make a little money. Yeah, because you can do multiples of the, the things. Because you know? a lot of parents, I mean, I say me and Alicia have time because this is our literal job. Like this is, this is what we do <laughs> for a living. Yeah. But once I leave my job, I a lot of times don't want to go home. Like my time at home, I want it to be spent with my child. Right. So when I go home, I don't want to take time away from him. To do so something like this. I would, I would easily, easily say, yeah, here's $20. Here's $25 to keep my kid occupied. <laughs> in the ride, in the car ride. Like, that's all it's going to take? Take my money. Please, take, take my, my money. money. Here's my credit card. <laughs> that's so funny. What's it, Barbara said? It's fun to also take a family picture and attach it to the sticks and then use it. Yeah, you could totally do that. I wonder if you could, um, like, Mod Podge the photo onto the popsicle sticks. Oh, yeah, for sure. And then take how... a true control knife. Yeah. And cut them. Yeah, mm -hmm. just, like, right down. Okay, I'm just going to run my finger along this. I do not want these to move or it'll ruin everything. So I want to make sure it's on there really, really good. And then we are going to run this through the Cricut with the pin. I'm nervous if I'm just going to put it out there. I'm just nervous about it. What <laughs> color do we want? Let's do red. Yeah, it's it's bright or dark enough. I think okay. Good. okay, let's continue. We are going to... <clears throat> what setting do we... I just always, when I use the pin function, I just always use it on heavy cardstock. Oh, okay. I can't remember what I used before. Okay, let's put it into clamp A. Obviously, take the lid off. Make sure it's... Close that clamp. Make sure it's pushed down in there. Okay, here goes nothing, you guys. Yes, yeah, since makes a good point. You can buy the bigger sticks, like the tongue depressors, to make larger puzzles. I don't know if I saw the bigger ones at the Dollar Tree, but you can definitely um, get them elsewhere. You might be able to find them at the Dollar Tree. When you are doing this, too, make sure your star wheels are moved over to the far. Right. It would be the left, right, left, right, opposite side <laughs> of the popsicle sticks. Yeah, the opposite side. And also, it makes me nervous because the popsicle sticks are not perfectly flat. Uh, but listen. We're gonna do it. Okay, ready? Here we go. Here goes nothing. If it messes up, we have one that worked. It, we have more. Yeah, we do. We have more. I'm gonna show you guys the finished product in here really quick. Okay, let's let's hit go. I can't watch it. I can't watch it. I can't watch it. This is also something that once we, um, okay, already, already, you guys, it already. <laughs> what? 
<laughs> Did you hear it? No. The no, the wood got stuck in the thing. But that's okay. So what we're gonna do is just pull this out. Kathy, we're actually using the Crayola pens. You can use those in a Cricut. You don't have to use the Cricut brand pens. And, and the reason that we're using these is because um, they are thicker. Yes. They and give you a thicker line. If you do the Cricut pens, they'll work, but I feel like the kids can see the Crayola markers a little bit better. Um, we've got one little, one little paint stick just right here. Let's pull it out. Okay. So what you may want to do is move it over to the middle and maybe down a little bit. Yeah. Let's try that. We'll keep... Instead of having it so close to the edge. Yeah. Let's troubleshoot this because it worked for me great on the first time. I think it just gets caught. Like if it's too close to the edge, I think it's getting caught on that little, um, lip that grabs the mat. So let's try it again. We're going to scooch it over and we got to make sure and scoot it over in design space as well. That way we're not um, like drawing off of the popsicle sticks. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's turn this around. I could show you guys the finished product really quick. Let me show you exactly what this is going to look like. And this is also a good time to say it might not be a bad idea to number your popsicle sticks. I'm, you took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> so I numbered all of these. So I've got one, I think this one had nine or 10 as well. And they all have numbers on the back of them. So like one is going to go up here. Two would go right underneath it, obviously. And you just kind of work your way down. Can they see that? Yeah. You know, okay. I don't want to be off screen. And then you're just gonna line them up. And I put the numbers on there because I feel like as parents, like we end up helping a lot. You know, like if the kids are like, I can't get it, I'm frustrated. You can be like, okay, mm -hmm. let's see which number is next. So six, seven, eight, and nine. And that's it. And that's what it would look like. If you line them perfectly straight, that's the little puzzle. You could also add magnets to these. So this is the same image. I feel like that's pretty fun. Yeah. Right? Okay. So, so now we're going to troubleshoot. Yes. And we're going to put it in the middle, closer to the middle of the mat. Yeah, let's do that. Actually, I'm going to use some of these that have been like laid right beside each other, like fresh out of the thing. Just because I feel like they're going to be straighter. Is that weird? The other ones have been floating around in a bag for... Yeah, no, that's good. I think okay. that's a good... Okay, Good so idea. where should we put it? Like two inch, two boxes over? Let's try that. Maybe that, yeah. Let's go down. I would say down. Okay. I would say down to the one inch mark for sure. Okay. Here we go, people. We're making it happen. And then we're going to tape this down just like we did the first time. And listen, you're not always going to get a perfect result the first time. If you guys crafted for any amount of time in your life, you know. Okay, let's see. We've got five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I think I actually did 10. I don't know if it'll draw on 10, but we are fixing to find out. Okay. All right. So let's tape those down with our painter's tape. We've got popsicle sticks flying everywhere, you guys. Everywhere. I love this comment. So Lauren says, thank you guys for walking us through some great projects. I've done all my decor, gifts, etc., for my wedding using my Cricut. Um, and let me tell you how beneficial your videos have been. Oh, that that's is, awesome. That's the reason we show up every day. Yes, very true. Very is to be true. able to hear things like that. And we... That's why we work so hard to bring you all the best um, and the latest stuff that's mm -hmm. happening. So we really appreciate it. Thank yes. you. And I'm telling y'all, we are very passionate about, I'll, I won't speak for Lauren, even though I know that she agrees. I, we're very passionate about our projects. So <laughs> I yeah. feel like we just put our heart and soul into stuff. And like, yes. if I want to make something happen, like if there's a will, there's a way, especially uh -huh. in the studio, we're always trying to figure out the best way to do stuff. Yeah. Um, so I don't know. Thank you guys. I like that. It really, it really helps validate like everything that we do, like all of the heart and all of the work that we put in to bring you guys the best. It really, I know for myself and mm -hmm. I know for Alicia too, like it just validates everything for us. Oh yeah. 100%.
Um, if you guys, speaking of like putting our heart and soul into things, y'all need to go watch our Tumblr, our live Tumblr. <laughs> <laughs> and what etching video. I'm going to speak for Alicia on this one. <laughs> Um, when I say this girl legit put her heart and soul into it, I did. it was all she ate, slept, <laughs> and breathed for like four last days. Last week. It was like all last yes. week. Yeah, I was going, even the week before that, we were, I was still into it, but um, it was very, it was very fun for me. I was kind of nerding out. Let's see. FYI, Do Hello does not, does come in the three different colors that match the cricket colors. Not sure why the black is different. Huh. I didn't order these, like, myself, personally, but um, I'll have to look at those. I do love the. I really love these mats. There's one popsicle stick sticking up. Say a prayer. It's fine. Carol says to support your mat as you load it. It helps keep the sticks flat. Okay. That's what I'll do. As in, you're not doing that right now. <laughs> well, I've not started it yet. When I start it, I will. Okay, let's go back. Okay. Let's go refresh this. A heavy card stock. We got the pin in. Okay. I'm going to hold it. I'm going to support you. Do Halo. I'm going to support your back. Do Halo? Is it? Do Hollow? It's do. H-A-L-O. Huh. Okay. Oh, I'm so nervous. What if I break the cricket? All right. Here we go. Okay. Mary Catherine Gallagher. It's now or never. <laughs> now or never. Nope, 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 nope. We didn't move it in design space. Oh. Okay. Pause. Pause. Let's go back. We make mistakes so you don't have to. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> okay, let's go move it on the mat. And we put this at the two inch by one inch. So we go over two and down one. It should be snuggled right here. We're just going to nestle it right there. I'm giving a little room for the tape because I taped it, but like very, very close to the edge. Yeah. Okay. Is it going to work? I'm, I'm still glad nervous. I could make you laugh, Sin. That's what I'm here for. I'm so nervous. <laughs> I'm so nervous, you guys. Oh, my gosh. It's not even that serious. I was just talking about how crafting isn't that serious. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. I'm support. I'm giving support. One of my favorite lines as a kid what and what's funny is i never did watch the movie until i grew up and because but my mom would always go around saying it mary Catherine gallagher when i get nervous oh you? from superstar <laughs> yes i know listen that movie did you say you have or have not seen it i have but i'm saying like when i was a kid i would go around telling people when i get nervous i like to smell my underarms <laughs> but i had never seen the movie just because that's what my mom would always say that so is I thought so because funny. everybody laughed like i thought and then i watched the movie as i grew up like it's obviously not suitable for children Listen, and I think mom I watched that as a kid, it. and it, it was hilarious. I watched it. <laughs> I started to watch it. Okay, let's go overhead. So what happened was there's just a little bit that marked on there, but, like, it worked. It worked. I mean. Oh, did it work? Yeah. God. It worked. So it marked right there, but I can just take the marker and, like, literally draw that little edge on. It's not like we're doing any crazy fancy artwork. Um, and what I will do is add the numbers on as I pull the pieces off. That way we can um, know what order to put them in. So I'm just going to go ahead and connect these right here. And then I'm just going to pull them off one by one. We didn't actually end up using that tenth little popsicle stick, so we can take him off. And then I'm just going to do, so that means we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm gonna start with number nine and I'm just gonna put this right here. I'm gonna do a nine and just make my way up to the top. Okay, second project done. What do you guys think about that one? Which one's your favorite so far? Um, the the pom-poms are my favorite so far because I didn't mess them up. <laughs> it was a square. <laughs> okay, so that's it for that one. You can just pop that in a bag. 
And then like I cut this out on a thicker cardstock. Um, basically I just opened up the file in preview and we can go over. I'll show you guys how I printed it just in case you're curious. Um, but like I downloaded the file and then I went into my downloads and found the PNG and I just opened it up and then you can go to file print and it's obviously going to take up a huge sheet so you can scale it down. I think I scaled it down to like 20% and then that's the size and then you can just send it to the printer and it'll print out this big and then you can cut this out and you can put it with the um, popsicle sticks and you're good to go. So any questions so far? Carol says, I only eat and write with my left hand. Everything else is my right. That's pretty much me, which I can, I can eat right-handed, um, but it's like either way, either way. I played soccer and I was a right, I was right-sided. Wait, cartwheels? Do you cartwheel on your left or your right? I think I go on my left. I don't know. I'd have to do a cartwheel. I ain't doing a cartwheel. No, I'll tell I'm you not that. I'm not no bones today. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Okay. I'm going to move these out of the way. It starts getting a little crowded up here with all these popsicle sticks. Let's put everything away that we're not using. That way um, we have some room. So the last one we're going to be making is a, is a chalkboard. <laughs> and it's so cute. I'm going to show you guys how to do it um, in design space. And I got this chalkboard at the dollar store as well as the chalk, which it was amazing. Also, I, Lauren, I don't know if you've been to the Dollar Tree um, since they've done this. But they have like a three to five dollar section at our Dollar Tree now. And it's really cute. They have like home decor and like blank wooden pieces. Do you guys have that where you're at? I'm very curious if other people have it. I've not seen it, but. Whoop. Okay. Let me show you guys what we've got going on here. So this is our little chalkboard. Can you guys see this well? It says, hello, my name is, and then there's like just little blanks. So you can actually take the chalk. And if you wanted to, you could like, whoever was not driving could obviously be like, you could write their name in and then they could copy it on the bottom line. Like they could come down here and tie, write it in like this. Um, you can do a hello, my name is. I also thought it would be really cute to do a funny face. Like so that they could color it in. Yes, like you could do, even on the back, because this is double-sided, like if you wanted to do vinyl, you could do a circle and put eyes and a mouth, and then they can draw the hair and like the eyelashes. Or just and, put the circle in the eyes and let them draw the mouth and make it either an emotion so that they cute. can do emotions. Why don't you just do that instead of doing the hello, my name is? Yeah, let's do that. That's fun. Okay, funsies. Okay, so let's go ahead and go in here. But we can show them how to do the hello, my name is. Oh, yeah, and it's, like, super easy. It's not, there's nothing fancy about it. Let's delete our image because we're not using that. Okay, so let's go ahead, and we're going to type in hello. I almost want to sing the Adele song, hello, from the other side. Hello. <laughs> I, I'm not singing it. We all know I can't sing, okay? <laughs> Don't rub it in. Okay. Hi, Olga. I'm Alicia. This is Lauren. If you haven't been here, we're new. Well, we're not new anymore. We're not new anymore, but if you've not, <laughs> if you've not been here in a while, then yeah, I mean, we probably I guess we look are very new. We, yeah. we do look new. We're glad that you're here, though. Okay, let's just find a pretty skinny font. I don't want to use a sketch font because it's like it's too thin. Um, this Barefoot Joanna, I love this font. I love it so much. Okay, and then I'm going to just duplicate that, and then we're going to put my name is, and we're going to shrink it down. So all of this is like the same width. And then what you can do to make the lines is we're just going to grab a rectangle. I'm going to unlock it, and we need to make three lines. So I'm going to make these really skinny, and then you can duplicate it twice. And what you'll do next, I'm going to go ahead and just highlight everything and align it. That way we're all super centered. And also I'm going to make sure these are spaced out evenly. And then what you can do is measure, let's go overhead and measure our um, board. Because I think it's five by seven, but I can't remember exactly. Let's see, actually it's five and three quarters by 
seven and three quarters. So let's make a rectangle that size. And you guys know that they have guides now. Where did I see that? Is this one not updated in here? Maybe it's not. Okay. Is the monogram on there on the bottom? Yeah, the monogram is on there. Huh. Okay. Oh, this is it. Okay. So whenever you want to do a shape just as a guide, you can go change the operation to guide right here and it won't cut it. So I'm going to change this to, let's just do five and a half by, what did we say? Like seven and a half ish. So all of this text needs to fit inside of my guide. So I'm going to attach everything and then we can shrink it down to make sure that it fits. And then you would just send this to the cutter and you would cut everything out and then you can transfer it onto your chalkboard and that would be what you get. So if you want to, instead of that, you can do the smiley face option. So what did we say? We wanna do a circle. Don't we have a smiley face cut file? We do? Yeah, let's just do that. Okay, let's do, is it under smiley face though? Let's search. We're on the Makers Gonna Learn website. If you guys are new here, this is the website that has all of our cut files and everything like that. We can use this graduation smiley face for this. Even though the hat's attached, I'll show you guys what I would do. Okay, Cricut, let's upload it. Upload our image. Oh, I don't wanna browse. Let's just click and drag. We need the SVG for this. I'm gonna upload it and then add it to our canvas. You can see some cute stuff that we've been working on. Oh yeah. <laughs> Little sneak peek. Sneaky sneak. Um, so we really, I don't want, I didn't realize this little tassel comes into his face. But what we could do, I'm trying to think. Mm, I think it'd be too much work to try to slice it off. Yeah, this is what I would do, just initially. I feel like we have another smiley face file. I just don't know what it is called. Um, yeah. But what you could do is grab your guide and you can add a, I'm going to make this really not super big because I want them to be able to add a hair right. and whatever they want. I'm going to do that and then I'm going to duplicate it and make it just a hair smaller. Actually, okay, draw your circle, draw your circle. Go up here, do an offset, just a quarter, let's do it a little bit like 1.15, we're gonna apply that. And then what we're gonna do is select both of them and slice it out. And then we have, oops, then we have our smiley face outline. So this is gonna be the circle, this is his head. <laughs> and then we can do the eyeballs with our oval shape right here. We'll just uh -huh. unlock it and we're gonna rotate it 90 degrees. And you can make these small and you can duplicate it. And then there you have your little smiley face. And you could even put like, if you wanted to put, um, what kind of text could we put up here? Draw my face um, or hmm, like, I don't know what a good sensory thing is. What should we It has put? to be, I would think it would be something with like emotions. Yeah, like what, how are you feeling? How do you feel? How do you feel? This is great. Okay, so you do like, how do you feel? And then make sure it fits within our guidelines. And then they can do like a little happy face or they could do a little sad face or whatever you know they wanted. And so you would just print this out and then when they put it on the chalkboard, they can draw the hair, the eyelashes and all of that. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. I love that. So um, that is all of our Cricut DIY projects. I want to show you guys the other ones I came up with really quick. We're at the end of our um, live stream, but I wanted to show you guys like some a couple other projects that we kind of came up with. And then um, I'll also show you how I sewed these. So this is the rest of the projects that I had here. So the first one that we got is pipe cleaners. This is my favorite project. 
it's not Cricut, but I love it so much. Mm -hmm. um, so they can make little bracelets. Obviously you don't want this for like little tiny babies at all. Like any, these need to be for like the seven, eight, nine year old kids. This could be good for the older kids, especially older like girls. If you wanted to do yes. like friendship bracelets and have a bass, like a bag with each different friendship bracelet that they could make or yes. things like that, this would be perfect for them. Yeah, so you just literally use pop cleaners and you can make little bracelets. All of this stuff was from the dollar store, and then you can just kind of twist this on. They can make bracelets for every single person in the car. And, like, is that not so cute? I know. I, like, love it so much. So that's one that you can do that's super easy, and I just threw everything in this bag. And then the next one that we have, this one's pretty fun. Um, what we did was we took different colored markers, and we took some more of those popsicle sticks, as well as these little um, clothespins. And I colored blue on there and then blue on the popsicle stick. So you guys can actually have them match all of the colors. So like this one has green. And this one would be good for these little fingers because them learning to not only use mm -hmm. the clothespin, but picking up the popsicle sticks off of the thing is a huge thing when it comes to like sensory. Oh yeah. And learning to use your fine motor skills. Yes, it's awesome. So we love that. And then I think I've got a couple more. I got this one, which is shoestrings and a phone cord holder. So this is like a cable organizer. And what you can do, this is so simple, but I, that's why I love it so much. Just take the shoestring and they can wrap this around as much as they want. They can tie it. Um, I mean, I feel like kids just love stuff like this. Like they can get it all kinds of tangled up just for fun. That's a busy, I feel like that's gonna keep a kid busy for like a hot minute. Mm -hmm. um, unless they get frustrated, which <laughs> is very likely to happen. You could even make a game out of that one if you had multiple kids and like you tie it up in knots. And get them and to undo it. Oh, stop it. Yep. Oh my gosh, that's genius. Okay, and then the last thing that we have is this little doodle journal. How in the world did I get this fit in this bag? I cannot tell you. I don't know what I did. Hold on, let's pull it out. So, and then I just found some like really cool little puffy stickers. I love puffer stickers, okay? And they can just open this up. They can put their stickers in their book. Like how cute is that? These even have the little emotions. This one says, oops. This one says shy, how cute. And they can just stick those on there. Stan also has a good idea, lacing pictures. If you use like the 120 weight cardstock yeah. and had like a picture of a, a shoelace, I'm pretty sure yeah. that we did that when I was in elementary school. Yeah, we did. And that's how I did. learned how to tie. I was yeah. on that, one of those lacing pictures. Yeah, me too. Um, and then what I did with these is I just did it. If you're a sewer, you can just stitch along this bottom edge. So this is a book in itself. Like this is going to stay together. So if you're last minute and you don't have a binder or something, you can just put a stitch along that bottom edge and you're good to go. So I hope you guys really um, like this. I feel like there was a lot of like fun little things you could do. We were talking, Tanner was talking about we're doing printable magnets, we're doing wood. So we're cutting wood with our Cricut today. So if you guys didn't know, your Cricut can cut wood. Uh, most Cricuts can cut wood. So um, I'm just going to show you all. Let me first show you what we're making. This is what we're making today. This is a little um, chore chart, if you want to call it. Um, we've got the children's name up here, and then we have the to-do side and the done side. And Love then there's it. these little, like, little magnets. Like they say, get ready. We've got comb hair, get dressed, all of that. <laughs> so they can just kind of switch them over um, as they finish them, which I think is so cute. They um, need it. Yeah. Like, oh, all the children They need all it. need it, okay? And then also, I thought, this is what I originally bought, okay? This is Dollar Tree. This is from the Dollar Tree. This is a, a $5 wooden wall organizer. It's 11.8 by 11.8. So it's like a really good size. I mean, this feels like 
It was more than $5, first I agree. of all. It, even like, it feels good. Like this is a good quality little piece I'm right here. I'm very impressed with where the Dollar Tree's going. Uh, I don't know if Dollar Tree's a publicly traded company, but I would be so excited to know like mm -hmm. the details about like what this does for them because they're such a great brand. I know, and they um, whoever their buyer is is doing a good yeah. job. She needs a raise or he. Yeah. Um, and then I found this one too, which has cork on it. Um, you can still do the magnet board on this. I'm gonna show you guys how I turn. This is a dry erase. This is not magnetic, okay? We're gonna make it magnetic because Ooh. I needed it to be magnetic. So I was like, listen, we're just gonna do it. We're just gonna make it happen. Alicia's making everything happen. <laughs> so um, if there's a will, there's a way, honestly. Um, and then I've got our base wood right here. This is the Cricut brand. Basewood, basewood or basswood? You tell me. I call it basswood. Um, it's basswood. <laughs> is it basswood? Alicia, yeah. I have a woodworking company. <laughs> I just always call it basswood. Anyways, whatever your heart desires, okay? It's going to do the same thing. Um, but anyways, we're going to use Cricut brand. I recommend Cricut brand for this specific material because it's like a finicky material. Um, and you're going to be using a knife blade to cut this. So you will need a knife blade. I will say that you don't need to do the wooden portion of this project to complete this project. You can just use the dollar store and exactly. do the printable magnet sheet. Like you don't have to do the wood part. Um, and then I've got some, this is HTV. I've got this coral colored HTV. Love it. I've got some um, just permanent vinyl. This is tech wrap. This color, tech wrap has some really pretty colors. You've been digging tech wrap lately. Yes, so I love the colors. I'm still, Lauren hasn't had issues cutting tech wrap. Um, I have, so, but I love their color options. So I'm like, I, I need to say, figure it out. The backing of the tech wrap is very much like the Cricut premium vinyl backing. It is. And that's what I don't like. It's I like am silky. Not, it's, it, it's hard to grip to yeah. a mat mm -hmm. if your mat has got a little love on her. Right. You know, right. so you just want to be careful about that. Yeah. Um, I don't know. It's just, it's, it's a different, but it feels good quality. Um, but like, I can't get my cut settings super right. You, you may see today. We'll see. You're we'll see what happens. It. You're going to rock it. Um, and then we've got light grip. This is a brand new light grip mat. This is the do halo light grip mats. I love do halo mats. Mm. Um, we have mixed reviews on those, but I love them. And let's see, I've got some wood glue. I've got a tape measure. So good. Painter's tape, this is to hold our wood down when we cut it, weeding tool. My knife blade is in here somewhere. There this she is. This is a good project. Yeah, lots of elements, but very, I mean, relatively simple. And then I'm using the ancient printable magnetic sheets. I use these for so much stuff, y'all. I used them for, we did like an interchangeable seasonal uh, Dollar Tree pizza pan door hanger. Wow, that's a lot of words. <laughs> um, but we're gonna be using it for a print and cut project today. And that is our little magnet. So we're gonna be actually um, printing these and then cutting, cutting, printing <laughs> and cutting. <laughs> we're gonna print and cut these on the Cricut. So there's that. And I'm needing transfer tape. Oh, I need to grab you some. Let me go grab you some. Tra I feel like there was one other thing in my brain. Oh, there's a whole bowl. Yes, I need a whole bowl. A whole bowl of transfer tape. Let the record tape. reflect. I offered her masking paper transfer and tape. And I chose Caesar um, because this is my tried and true. This uh, is my It's really babe. grew on me. I know. It's really good. It's because You know why I love it so much? Because it's not super tacky, but it's tacky enough. You know, yeah. like it gets it done, but it's not like, no, I want to hold on to you. It's like, okay. <laughs> You know, it just kind of lets it go, and I yes. love that. Okay, so what we're going to do first, I'm trying to figure out where we should start. My keyboard was dead. So let's go ahead and start by measuring. Let's get our measurements, see what base we're working with. I'm just going to kind of move this stuff around so we got a little bit of room. And I am going to measure this. So can you all see, are we centered? Um, okay, so this width is, we're just measuring the inside portion right here. So this is about almost exactly 10 by, uh, it's a good size. Yeah, it's eight and a half by 10. Yeah, so that's a pretty solid size. So these sheets are eight and a half by 11. So what I did, 3M, that's what I was forgetting. I needed 3M. So I think there's some... I brought, I just used some. What I did was put 3M on the back of this magnet sheet. 
So 3M is a double-sided adhesive. And basically what you'll do is put it on the back of this. And then you'll put one. Um, I want to say it is in one of these drawers right here with the vinyls. Um, so what you'll do is put the 3M one sticky side down. So you're basically going to be looking at the 3M sticker. He's bringing me some. And then what we'll do is stick this on here. And so it makes it into like a magnetic sheet and you can't even tell. Like we're just covering white with white. So you're not even going to be able to really tell. Now I will say whenever I put this on here that there's like a small little gap right here, but you can't really tell. Let me show you all what it looks like on this one. Um, I kind of pulled to the bottom here. So my gap is more at the top, but since we're putting this name up here at the top, you can't even see it. Like it's totally disguised. You're not going to be able to see it at all. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and trim, um, trim my magnetic sheet and you can trim it while it's in here if you want. I'm just going to kind of lightly trim it and then cut it a little bit more. I'm using a true control knife for this. Just be super careful. I can kind of feel the edge of my wood right here. Okay, that is an ugly cut, you guys. So I'm gonna take my scissors and finish it. Okay, that's okay. Our 3M has gone missing. Um, you know why? Because I cleaned the office. And so now <laughs> everything is organized and we don't know where it went. So you're gonna just use double-sided adhesive something of that nature. I'm just cutting this right up here. You could probably mm -hmm. use like a paper trimmer for this portion. Oh, I love honestly. a good paper trimmer for things like that. And really, you don't have to use 3M. Like if you've got glue on hand, you can just put some glue on there. Like um, dab glue, super glue. You know what I should have brought you? I should have brought you just an ATG gun. Like that would be oh, so good. Here, I've got dap right here. Oh my gosh, the dap is also amazing. We're we dap love it. fanatics. We use this all the time. Yeah. Okay, so. Honestly, the 3M is probably not the most, like, realistic. Sure. I, like, I don't know. I, it's not the most cost-effective thing to use. But I thought, you know what? But it'll be it'll of, be on there forever. A dap of dap. A dap of I dap. Mean, that's all you. That? That's all you need. Yeah, Diane, we are pulling out that glue right now. I mean, look at Alicia go. She's just getting her little glue. If it it be might come good. out. <laughs> you just need to attach it, okay, everybody? It Whatever needs it to be takes. attached. Whatever it I takes. I personally would recommend the ATG gun. Like, it is going to be such a good tack. It's going to hold on really well. It's going to be amazing. I mean, you really think the ATG gun would hold a magnet? Yeah. Really? I Y'all, I'm not used the ATG gun as much as I Alicia, want to. When I tell you, if I had to have a ride or die, like the ATG gun has been with me since 2000. <laughs> glue is hardened. <laughs> That's <glue>. crazy. <laughs> I promise you, I promise you the ATG gun has been with me since 2000. The red one? The red one. We have it. It yeah, has its, it's own vintage. drawer. It's vintage. It's vintage now. Uh, we need to have it a frame. It needs to be framed. I it mean, needs to I be framed. I promise you, that <laughs> ATG gun is so loyal <laughs> and so good oh, that you'll have my a great gosh. time every day Thank you, Stacey. just using that ATG gun. So that's my, you know, if you're a paper crafter, if you are doing any type of paper projects with your Cricut, I just love, love, love the ATG gun because, and Alicia, you're kind of impatient like me. Oh, 100%. Guess what? It's instant adhesive. I, mean, I know, adhesion, but like, I guess I didn't realize that it was like that strong. It's super, it's you know acid I mean? free, so you could scrapbook with it. Okay. Um, I wouldn't use it for a lot of the woodworking projects you're accustomed to, but for a lot of the projects we do at Makers Gonna Learn, I mean, the ATG is really handy for me personally. Yeah. Um, so I think a lot of you all would like it too. So, okay. Yeah, no, the DAP is like, my favorite sturdy sturdy glue like, yeah like it's permanent when you pull out dap you mean business and you might lose some of your you know your you might you lose your fingertips <laughs> <laughs> okay it's on there so we're Yay. good it's on there we are totally good so i'm just going to kind of sit that to the side let it dry our keyboard has charged okay amazing let's go ahead and i'm gonna um go ahead and start laying everything out in design space and I'm going to show you all this file. Okay, so this chore chart is off of our website. This is the nighttime routine one. So we have a daytime routine file and a nighttime routine. This is the nighttime. Actually, this is the daytime. This is the morning routine. Yeah. Uh, I was like looking at make bed 
I don't know why I would think that's not time, oh. but you know. Okay, so um, these are the files that we are going to use to make, if we can go overhead, I can show you all. Um, these are like our little magnets. So we pulled the file in and we're just gonna be cutting these out on the Cricut. Aren't these so cute? And they're magnetic, so they stick Yay. right to our little thing. So um, before we do that though, we can go ahead and lay out our design for the board. So what we're gonna do, what I like to do is kind of set like a foundation for my design. So I'm gonna make a square that's the same size as our little board, which we measured it and it was eight and a half by 10. So it's wider than it is tall. And we can change, you can actually change it to a guide now. Um, this way it doesn't actually cut anything out. So we've got our guide. I wish we could lock this layer. That'd be amazing yes. if they would add that feature. That way, whenever you're trying to pull stuff in, it's not gonna move around on you at all. Um, if you use Illustrator, that is like, you can do that there. And then what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna type out to do on one side and y'all can put whatever you want. I like to do to do and done. That way when they finish it, they can kind of drag their little magnet over to the other side and you know, okay, I'm finished with my chore for the day. And I'm going to be using the font Krigger. This is an exclusive Makers Going to Learn font. And it is we so it. cute. It's very, like, kitty. I feel like it's a kid font. Yeah, it's so whimsical. It is very whimsical. And then I'm going to type in done. This is so easy. So one file, which really is like nine files. Um, yeah. Because we're getting the, <laughs> you know, we have the daytime and night time. So, again, guys, today, when you become that monthly member for $9.99 that first month, you only have a few more days to do that, which is crazy. Mm -hmm. You're going to get access to all of this. Yeah. So the fonts, the cut files, our Facebook group. We had a question earlier. If I'm not on Facebook, do I get to participate in these, like, member-only things you speak of? The answer is... All of our training, a lot of it is live in the Facebook community. And then after the Facebook live, we upload a recorded version to our website. So you can watch all the replays, like past events, past trainings, things like that. Mm -hmm. And then like that year member summit, if you upgrade to yearly, um, that's hosted, you know, privately. So it's not on Facebook. So yeah. you, you know, you get a secret link. You get and an there's a lot of cute projects. There's I'm so not gonna lie. They're so very many cute. good things. So <laughs> many good things. I love it. I love it. Okay, so once I got those in there, I went ahead. Yay. I'm gonna select done and to do. I'm gonna select both of those, and I'm going to align, center them vertically. Love it. And then this line right here, I'm just gonna select the guide as well as the line, and I was gonna go to a line and center. So I already did it, so it didn't move anywhere. <laughs> Amazing. Um, so you just wanna make sure everything is lined up. That way when you go to transfer it onto your magnet sheet, it's already ready to go. And then and what we're gonna do before we go to make it is we're gonna go ahead and lay out our name as well. So let's go over ahead and measure where our name is going. So I don't want it to, like you can see on this one, I didn't go all the way to the edges. I just want to kind of take up this little middle region. So with our offset, it needs to be about, uh, I'm going to do it a little less than 10 because this is 10. So I'm going to say it needs to be about nine. So what we'll do is go back to design space. And I'm going to type in Asher. That's Lauren's little. Aww. And we are going to be using the Amber Light. Also, really love this font. I do too. This is one of my favorites. Amber Light. If you type in your font and it does this, make sure that you're selecting system. That's a new update. And but at first, I was like, where's my fonts? Where are they? Um, and then what we're going to do here, I'm just going to blow this up so you all can see that the letters sometimes will not be kerned. So what that means is they're not touching each other. And actually, these are overlapping each other, so we're going to need to just make some adjustments. Mm -hmm. So come to Advanced. There's a drop-down menu, and you're going to ungroup to letters. And then you can just drag these together. And you can even turn them. Like, I want to turn this R just a little bit. Love it. And then what you're going to want to do is... I need to move this, sorry. It has to be like, okay, there we go. <laughs> Guys, if you're on a different tab, come back to us because you just got to see Alicia, you know, really get to kern that. It looks yeah. so good. Yeah. And so I'm going to click and drag and select all those letters, and then I'm just going to weld it back together. When you weld it, it makes it 
a solid unit. They're Amazing. married. They're married. They're, They're married. together forever. And then I am going to, I'm just going to change the color. We'll just do a little orangey. But I want an offset. So what I'm going to be doing is applying this word. I'm going to apply Asher and HTV. And the offset's going to be cut out of basswood. So I'm going to keep this selected and add an offset. I don't want all of this cut out area. I can I can do it like this and contour out these little tiny holes. That sounds like a lot of work. Uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna make it a little bit bigger. Now Let's... one thing I love about this project, you know, there are a lot of steps to it, but Alicia, I love that we embraced the wood color. Like the natural oh, wood I look. I love the natural it's wood. It's so good to make it. it where we're not having to tape off, remove, uh -huh. paint, I mean, and this is really... I started to, okay? okay. I started to stain okay. it, and then I was like, no, no. I'm actually kind of feeling the natural yeah. wood. So if you wanted to stain it, you totally could, I though. love that. That is incredible. So the offset right now has these little holes right here. I just, I don't, oops, I moved it. I don't not want that. So I'm going to select the offset, and I'm going to contour out all of these little holes. So I'm going to select hide all contours. Amazing. X off of it, and that's it. Okay, look at that. Yeah, super easy. And I'm gonna just change this to light brown just so I don't get things mixed up. Okay, and that's it. That's all that's of our amazing. stuff. So lots of little, we've, we're doing like a few little projects within one project. Right, you're bringing it all together. You have like yeah. three different things going on right now and I love um, it. Someone asked how big the offset is. That was a 0. 0.35. Yeah, 0.35, but do whatever you like. Whatever looks good, just make sure it's thick. You want a big, yes. big offset. And then um, the reason I say that is because we're using a knife blade. If you haven't used a knife blade, uh, the detail... Is not there. Yeah, you want to have like big, long cuts. You don't want to have like... Ee, 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 ee. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? You don't yeah. want to like make it chopped up. And that's what we recommend because you're not going to yeah. see the same results with that knife blade right. as you would a fine point blade. Exactly. Like it's just don't expect the same. Yeah, it's just not going to happen. So we're going to go ahead and select make it. I'm going to select on mat, continue. And so whenever we get here, you're going to see that all of this is crazy. Now I could just cut it like that. If you're trying to say vinyl, that's totally like fine. This. Um, and we actually will just cut it like that today. But if you didn't want to do that, you wanted to do, you wanted it to be perfectly laid out how you want it on your magnet. I want you all to know that you can select all these elements and attach them. Look at that. And then whenever you go to make it, it's going to be perfectly laid out for whenever you cut your vinyl. And so the reason I'm not doing it that way is because all of this is going to get not wasted, but it's going to go in our scrap bin and like, will we ever use it? I don't know. Right. I don't know. So I'm going to keep it back how it was. I can just go here and detach. If I would have welded that and then like went off of my project, um, we can unweld it, but we can detach it. Yay. So I'm going to go to make it on that. And then we've already printed out our print and cut. I need to go ahead and lay my vinyl on to my mat for this portion. So I'm going to use permanent vinyl for this part. So I have this little guy and I feel like he's not wide enough, but we can make some adjustments. So I'm using a light grip mat. Um, this is a brand new light grip mat, so it's very sticky. Um, I would say a standard grip is probably your best bet. Yes. Um, and then since my vinyl is only going to this four and a half mark, you can see my to-do goes past the five. I'm just going to bring it down here. Preserve some space, okay? And then we don't need to mirror it because we're using regular vinyl. And then, let's see, these, Asher and this one, this one won't need to be mirrored. This one will need to be mirrored. This is going to be with HTV. So I'm going to go ahead and mirror Asher because we're going to be using heat transfer vinyl. You always need to mirror your images when you're using heat transfer. So go ahead and continue. If you guys are like, you're doing a lot, you're doing too many steps, this is going to be here. So you guys can go back and go step by step through this. And yes. hopefully I'm not going too fast. No, for you. I think there's just a, quite a few different little, little projects. There I like is. That there's a little, like a, quite a few little projects in this big mm -hmm, one. For sure. And then we're using the maker today. Oopsie. We usually use the maker three, but I was having, I was like, nope, we're using the maker today. I don't have time. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and select make it. And then I may have to make some adjustments. I'm just going to readjust what I already did. 
Okay, and then we're mirroring the orange Asher because it's on HTV. Continue and let that connect. Okay, we've already got our blue on the mat, so I'm gonna go to my to do and done. This is what we're cutting out of the blue. Love and it. we're just gonna be using regular vinyl and a fine point blade. And I'm gonna use more pressure on this tech wrap because I've been having issues with it cutting and then when I'll weed it, it's like not, not cute. Not cute. I've got my fine point blade in. So let's go ahead and send this through. Okay. And I'll say, um, I was worried about cutting the um, basswood on live, but it didn't take like 50 passes yeah. like I thought. Well, it's Cricut. Yeah. It's Cricut basswood. Mm -hmm. They have kind of their own formula. Yeah. I like it. I do too. It's it kind of really good. I mean, I think I did it in like six to nine passes. Oh, yeah. But, and when you're cutting something so big, it doesn't take like a million years. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Like it doesn't take forever to cut. So if you guys wanted to stain this, I would firstly recommend take off these little guys. You don't need them for when you're staining. Take them off and then sand everything really well. And then you're going to stain it and then you can replace these again. Now, if you want to stain the uh, basswood, you need to make sure it cures like overnight before you go to try apply HTV. Yeah. Um, otherwise, it's just not going to stick. It's just not going to do it. So if you're putting any HTV on here, I even think that you could put like cute little designs around, along the edges. That I don't know. Fun. You can get creative with it. Yeah. Okay. So our vinyl is cut. The next thing it's going to want to cut is the bass, bass, bass wood. You guys know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and you can see that is in a horizontal. There it is. Um, it's horizontally on here. Now, I would not just send this through without taping it down. I just wouldn't. Also, did we make sure on the measurements? I want to make sure that our measurements are right for this. I think you were looking earlier. So let's I know. Just I want to listen, measure twice, cut once. Oh, that's one of my favorites. Yes, Alicia measure knows. twice, cut once. So with the offset, what my problem is, is I'll measure these inside words and forget to measure my offset. The offset is coming to nine inches. That's perfect. That's what I wanted. So we're good. We are so good. Again, I'm gonna have to go through here, but that's fine. That's yeah. Fine. Okay, mirror that, and then we're gonna select continue. And then it's gonna prompt me to change my blade because we're yes. using a different material. So make sure that you're following any prompts in design space. Like if you're changing what you're cutting, uh, I'm gonna do the thicker one, the 1 16th. Okay. And, um, no, not right now. <laughs> and it's wanting me to move my star wheels all the way to the right. And it looks like mine are moved. Make sure it's no wider than 11 inches. And actually it's 12 inches, but the, it was fine. Like I cut this and it was fine. I didn't have to like trim off that edge of the wood. And it says use a strong grip mat. We're using a new light grip mat. So, you know, we're making our own rules. And load the knife blade. We, that's a must. We have to put this knife blade in here. So I'm putting it into clamp B. Does it bother anyone else that clamp B is the most used one? No. Why? And it's called clamp B. I want it to be clamp A. But you read left to right. I know, but I'm looking. I don't know. I guess, oh, I guess that makes sense. But For I always. For you as a crafter here, you know, you're behind the camera. Right. But if you're on, like, the crickets in front of you. I guess. Um, like, yeah. I feel like and everyone puts their cricket, like, are you sitting in front of your cricket? Do you normally have it to your side? Yeah, let it's us know different. in the comments. I think for most crafters, they would have it in front of them. But I yeah. think just for us, like, filming filming all the time, we have it to our, our, to our side. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, and like I was saying before, you don't want to just go in willy-nilly and cut this. You want to put some painter's tape down. Painter's tape, I swear, this is my... I'll use this for everything. Painter's tape we is my favorite it. craft supply. It's amazing. If it counts as a craft supply. I think it does. Lynn says, I love tech wrap, but I have to remind myself to take the film off. Me too. Mm -hmm. We didn't even know. I didn't know. Did you know no. that they had the film? Yeah. No. I think it's to like protect. It's to protect the vinyl. Yeah. I but love that. I'd be forgetting about it. You um, know? <laughs> now we have a friend saying, are you going to tape the wood down? So we always tape any of the wood. I yes. tape chipboard down. Like all of that gets securely, you know, fastened down. Oh yeah. Anything that's like thick or like heavy, oh, yeah. you just want to make sure. Yeah. Okay. 
My I'm daughter. with Alicia. B seems odd for the primary spot. I agree. I agree. Yeah, it does feel weird. Okay. Um, so it was warning me that it's going to take a long time. But what I'm going to do is watch it. <laughs> and I'm going to see how many cuts that it takes. Because I think last time it said like 15 passes. And I yeah. was like, no. How long did you think it actually took? Um, I think I timed it. And it took like 10. 10 passes? It took... It I want to say no more than detected. 10 minutes, but only like six or nine passes. Okay. Okay. Let me try to reload. Sometimes, so this is actually, you know, they have this feature to help us with our, with our crickets um, to make sure we have the right blade in and things like that. But what you're going to notice is that sometimes you just have to go through. Oh, Alicia, we have a friend We here. have a spammer. We, we love go, that for us. Uh, we go. Sadie's on it. Sadie's I can on see it. her okay. clicking over yeah. there. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. She said, nope. She said, nope. <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to weed this stuff while we're waiting. Love it. Going to weed it. I'm just cutting off the excess because I don't want to peel it. Right. I don't like, I can use this for something. I know it seems small, but y'all know. I like to just save as much Alicia as I can. Alicia and Lauren both love, love, love to save. We love to save. Okay, this is the test because I've been wondering if this was going to cut. And I even put it on more pressure and y'all saw. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, Paul just got the sublimation class and it's, it, it is a good one to get. Woohoo! I love sublimation, you guys. It oh, is so much fun. Oh my goodness. Diane literally did all the research. Okay. Okay, you're about to be blessed. Let's the hear it. left tool holder is labeled A for accessories, and the right is B for blades. Accessories such as pins, <gasps> markers, or scoring solids. That makes solace. so much more sense. I love that. Oh my gosh! Now I don't like. Now it doesn't bother me. <laughs> right? Do you know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. I love that. Y'all, so, this did not cut. Oh no! It cut out like I mean, barely. It, yeah, it cut, yeah. but like barely, barely. So we'll just recut it on some regular non-tech wrap vinyl. So Desiree says, so can you do this with an explorer? Yes. So you can do this. You just wouldn't be able to cut the basswood with the knife blade. You could do chipboard. Um, that would be a great alternative. If you have an explorer and you're like, I really want to make this project, what I would personally do is I would use craft board. Get you some yeah. craft board, get you an, you know a color that complements. There's quite a few colors. You could actually do the craft color um, and it's really good. So um, you could do that. There's a lot of different um, you know things that you could do. So we're just going to... I'm, I'm making this work right now, just Yay. in case anybody was wondering. I'm... You're not gonna cut it again. <laughs> I ain't cutting it again. So Alicia, if you don't mind, tell us some of your tricks, if you have any, for saving vinyl in a process like this. Do you have any? There's been times where on a live stream I have actually curled up vinyl and threw it away and then realized that there was a piece missing. And I've, oh. I've pulled it out and, and had to find it and show so people. So is there any tip that you have? <laughs> so right now I'm just kind of going through letter by letter. And normally, if I was using any other vinyl, I wouldn't really have to do this. I even cut this on more pressure. So, but this vinyl feels so good quality, and that's why I like it because it feels nice. And they have such great colors. Yeah, which the is colors really cool. are great. And so, the only problem is that it doesn't cut, which is kind of a big problem for me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Alicia, if it doesn't cut, there's really no reason in having it. I need it to cut. I know. Uh, I know. Okay. It's crazy. This end is like attached. Let's use our exact, listen, if it, there's a little area that's not cut, just take your true control knife and yes, cut it off. Yes, I love that. The true control knife, Lauren was talking the other day about that she um, weeds with it. That she will weed with her true control knife sometimes. I've weeded with my true control knife. Do you? Yeah. Okay, I let it go all four. It did 14 passes, um, but you can see. I don't know if y'all can see. I can, I'm going to lift this up so you guys can kind of tell. This is totally cut all the way around. So I'm going to go ahead and unload it. And you want to make sure that you're checking that it's cut before you actually remove it from yes. the Cricut because you can just 
put, um, but yours is totally oh it's all the way through oh yeah that looks good i mean that's crispy i that love looks it good. yeah and it's so clean whenever you use that blade it's so clean i'm just gonna very delicately pop that off okay so there we go there's asher's outline now we need to cut the htv i'm gonna go ahead and do that i'm just gonna pull this off and we can actually still use some of that probably. Yeah. So I'm gonna be using this like coral colored for the HTV. And I'm gonna, once this starts cutting, I'm gonna go grab some more um, permanent vinyl because I. I'm not leaving the rest of that. <laughs> the O's all changed. You want me to go grab it? Where would you like me to get it from? Yeah, just any permanent vinyl that we have would match this coral color. Honestly, just don't get tech grab. Just get like another brand, like another kind which surprised me. And then I'm going to, I'm gonna go ahead and select. No, um, we need to go ahead and change our settings because this is HTV. So I'm gonna just click up here. I know there's no like button or anything, but you can change your cut settings just right here. And I'm gonna go to everyday iron on. And we wanna make sure that our image is mirrored, which ours is because it's backwards. And I'm going to do, I don't need to change the pressure, but I do need to change my blade back to the fine point blade. So I'm going to go ahead and take this out and put a fine point blade in. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, let's see, Asher goes down to a little past the five mark. So I'm just going to cut this right at the six. Okay. Nothing is wanting to cut through for me today. Okay. That was a beautiful straight line, you guys. I did a good job. <laughs> and make sure that you're putting your HTV shiny side down. So you can see this is shiny, and this is a little bit more matte. Thank you so much. Okay. We're going to go ahead and send this through. And while this cuts, I'm going to turn on my mini press. So you can use an iron for this. Honestly, just get a mini press. Just get one. You need painter safe mini, mini press. press. It's my favorite, like yeah. my favorite craft tool. You Tabitha. Need a tool. Tabitha ordered. No way. She was or she, I don't know if she officially did. I need to ask her. Um, but she was talking about ordering one. I was like, girl, you need it. We love the mini easy press. If you if I could go back and only buy the mini easy press. So I'm gonna use this one. And what brand is this? Starcraft. We love it. Gotta love it. I the know Starcraft. I love it. Okay, and then after Asher cuts, we will cut our magnets. We will recut this. And then I'm going to show you all how to apply HTV to wood. A little mini tutorial within a tutorial. <laughs> so I'm going to organize myself. Let's prop this back up. Oh, Tabitha did purchase. She did? Uh, yeah, she did. Yay. Yay. I love it. Oh, okay, Sadie, I finally was able to hide the user. Yay! <laughs> but have, does, is you. it a new account every time? That's so crazy. Are people oh. just bored? Like, go do something. I don't you know? know. I don't know, guys. Okay, crazy. so I'm pulling this off. And a lot of people weed on their mat. You can do that. That's to each their own. I'm just going to go ahead and weed this. Why does this look gigantic? We measured it. It's fine. Yay. I like it to fill up the space anyways. Yes. So I'm going to go ahead and weed this. If you've never weeded HTV, you weed it from the back and the transfer tape is built in, which and is awesome. We were talking about my foster kiddos. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, there, someone asked. Uh, so yeah, those are my foster kiddos. Um, great question. I did not know about the easy way to change the choices. Yes, made my day, Deborah said. Woohoo. Change the choices for like um, cut settings? I think so. Oh. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah. So Desiree it, says, what are your thoughts on a Glowforge machine for cutting things like thicker wood? So Desiree, we love the Glowforge. We're here for the Glowforge. Mm -hmm. We're not here for the price. <laughs> um, <laughs> exactly. It's a really big investment into the... It's a um, business investment rather than a crafting investment. Yeah, yeah. It's not a hobby investment. Um, it's definitely a business investment. Like, yeah. for us, you know, even though we run a business and, you know, it's very successful and things like that, we did not buy Glowforge until Courtney's mom asked me what 
like would be a great wedding gift. And I was like, you know what, Eileen? You guys got that for your wedding? Uh, well, me and, me and Eileen, Courtney's mom, went halfsies and got it for her for her wedding gift. And <gasps> so like, I just wanna let you all know, like, it's not like we on a normal day would invest that much money. Like that is a extraordinarily large amount of money. Oh yeah. Um, so it is for a business, you know, if you're wanting to go all in, um, you can do so many great things. So much fun so stuff. So much great stuff. And there's yeah. even some other ones out there that are now, I feel like better for the mid tier market. Oh but yeah. Like the Glowforge is very much beginner now. We've been then, trying to kind of look into seeing yeah. like what the other options are. Yeah, so. we just got some new office space. We, our, our <laughs> oh, office yeah, is we did. <laughs> yesterday uh. was a day. We accidentally got another office space. We accidentally did. <laughs> oh my story. gosh. This live stream is, is so long. So I'm I'm sorry, you guys. No, it's not you. I love it. <laughs> so I just put this HTV on here, and I'm just putting it right on top of the wood. So I've got the transfer is on the top, and then the vinyl is like sandwiched in between the wood and the transfer. I've got this on a medium heat setting, and you're going to know when it's attached because it makes these tiny little bubbles, and you all may not be able to see it on screen, but I can see it in real life. And I'm just going to go over all of this. And I'm gonna peel it while it's still warm, okay? So some vinyls are hot peel, some vinyls are cold peel. Generally, for me, it's a hot peel. Like, if you've never ironed on wood before, the um, bass would be great because it's already really smooth. It's already really flat. Like, you'll really enjoy the experience. Yeah, like it's just, yeah, it's good. I love it. And so, you can see, I always try to go really slow in case I miss any parts because yeah. I don't want to stretch that vinyl and cause yeah. like a, a dent or like a bubble. I love it. Oh, Heidi loves it, her Glowforge. We love the Glowforge. Oh yeah, we, we use love it all it. the time. Um, yeah. But primarily probably for more personal projects, not a lot in the membership. But if you all have Glowforges and would like to see some things, let us know. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and recut this. Sorry, that didn't work out for no, us. I was good. so close too, and I was like, ugh, <laughs> it's just not gonna work. You're awesome. So we're gonna recut our to-do. Make sure you change your settings. I'm going to premium vinyl. Yes. I'm doing more pressure just to be safe just because be safe. I'm nervous. And you know for a fact that this StarCraft, I mean, StarCraft HTV is so, or vinyl is so loyal. Oh my gosh, it's um, so good. And let me check. I think the material that we're using today is linked down below. Yes, it should um, be linked. Yep, so our printable magnetic sheet is linked down below. I'll drop a link right here with that as well. Um, so yay, yeah. love that, love it, love it. And so I'm not gonna apply my wood piece. I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna glue this yet because I want to line up my to do and done first because I feel like I'm gonna need to like bump this up a little bit. And honestly, you guys can put these wherever you want. You can even yeah. put them up here. Like if I wanted to screw those off, yes. I could glue it here. And like, that's really cute too. If you're taking off it, if you're taking that off anyway, right. for staining purpose, yeah. that would be what I would do. And if you want to take these off and you don't want to use them at all, take them off, put wood filler in it, yeah, and then sand it and stain it. Love it. So, But, but I if you're going to put that here. piece of wood over top and it covers it, maybe that's... You wouldn't even have to. You wouldn't to. even need yeah, to. Yeah, as long as it was Love big that. enough, you wouldn't even have to worry about Love it. Love that. Can you use heat transfer vinyl on painted wood? Would you seal it first? You can, but we recommend at least 24 hours to yeah. let the paint set. You want to make sure everything is cured. Your paint, your stain. So, like, if you're, if you're putting heat transfer or even using stencil vinyl, everything needs to cure for 24 yeah. hours. Yeah. I mean, you We're, can we get don't crazy. We sell and... a lot of things. Mm -mm. There's a lot of things that people are like, would you sell this? Would you sell this? We don't need to. Paint has its own like sealer kind of built in. Um, so kind of very few things we, we go through and try to seal. I'm trying to even think of what needs to be sealed. Yeah. Like not a lot. There's not a lot. An outdoor sign. If it's going yes. in the weather, like that would be, and it was like a chalk like a chalk sign or something like that. Right. Okay, I'm just cutting out the portion that I'm gonna be weeding so we're not completely peeling off all of this transfer. And I just know this is gonna be a nice cut. Where's my weeding tool? Gotta have it on hand just in case. Oh yeah, so much Yay. better you guys, so much better. So I'm just gonna, it's still not great. Maybe I need to replace my blade. Maybe it's me. Ooh, maybe it's our machine. <laughs> I think it might just be the blade as well. Maybe. Yeah, that's 
something, something's up, you guys. Okay, does anybody have questions so far? Because I feel like we've went over a lot. So we went over the design space, print and cut. Yes. We went over how to cut the wood. Oh, people are, I mean, they're they're loving it. I mean, let us know if you all have any other questions because this has been so fun. I yeah. love that we get to kind of work through different things and we get to show you guys it. But this is, again, a dollar store project. Like Dollar Tree, the $5 section of the store. Um, we're really loving it and it's really... It's just really fantastic, so we love that. Yeah, I love, if y'all haven't been to the Dollar Tree in a while, just go and check out that 3 to $5 section. Yeah, I have some videos featuring some of the products that we really love from there. Mm -hmm. um, I'll try to make that come out soon. And we have done a couple TikTok, we did a TikTok showing yes. some of their fall and Halloween items. We went and kind of shopped around the other day. <gasps> Y'all, send just dun, just send some good juju to me really quick, okay? Because <laughs> I cannot let this mess up. If it does, we're just we might just have to say we'll look at the on. finished one. <laughs> we'll carry on. Aw, Heidi loves the colors. Yay! I know. I love this blue. Yeah, that's really cool. Okay, I'm trimming off the excess. If you guys get overwhelmed when you're weeding, just trim off the excess. That's what I do. That's a great tip. So if you ever start weeding. And you start weeding from one side, and then you're like, you know what, this side, I'm coming, I'm doing it last, which I do it all the time. I'll start one side and be like, nope, it ain't it for me. And I'll go to the opposite side thinking it'll peel off better the opposite way. A yeah. lot of times that works, but if you have a big chunk and it's big, I like sometimes trim off the excess as I weed so it doesn't stick to each other and yeah. stick to it. That's a big, big, big deal. And you know what? A lot of people, um, a lot of people reverse weed. I... If you've had good luck with reverse weeding, you got to give me some tricks because I, I cannot. You like it? I, I don't hate it. It's it's for um, things like if we're doing a mandala or something. I'm giving really... this to you to finish weeding. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna Lord. do the I'm gonna do the magnets so we can go ahead and get the magnets cut. Okay. This is. Oh my! It's the cricket. Alicia, it's, it's not you. <laughs> I know. If you can't get it, then we're, it's just fine. Okay, I'm going to lay my magnet onto my mat. And then in Design Space, I'm going to go ahead and select that I've already printed because it's kind of prompting me to print. And then make sure that you change your base material. When you're working with a lot of materials, just always double check your base material every single time. Yeah. And go ahead and search for a printable magnet sheet. You can even just type in magnet and you'll probably get less options. Printable magnetic sheet. I'm going to select done. And we linked it down below. So if you guys have any questions on which one we're using, mm -hmm. that's linked for you. And then I'm going to select more pressure. Woohoo. Okay. And then we will go ahead and send this through. We've been trying to do a little bit more print and cut content for you all. Just because. We love print and cut here. Yeah, and like, I feel like it seems so difficult, but it's not. It's very simple. And I like to overcomplicate it sometimes. Even and you myself. don't have to keep a lot of material on hand for print and cut. Like, you don't <laughs> have to buy a thousand colors of vinyl or anything like that, right, which is awesome. Right, right. Okay, so just for the sake of time, I'm going to go ahead and glue this on. But I just want to make sure that I'm gluing it up high enough so that the to-do and done has enough room. So you could put this here, you can put it down here, even at an angle, whatever you think is You guys huge. have to know I really love Alicia because I'm weeding without a mat right now. <laughs> I'm literally weeding without a mat. Y'all, I never even used a weeding tool until like <laughs> when I started here. I didn't even know there was a tool for it. I used <laughs> a uh, sewing pin. You're so cool. I know. Alicia's yeah. like OG crafter. Am I though? Yeah. I didn't even use a cricket, you guys. I'm a cricket newbie. No. I mean, now I don't feel like I'm a newbie, but like really, January, it's my, how many months? A, the month anniversary of many. being a Cricut user. <laughs> okay. But you used a different, you, 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 you Alicia I likes used to discredit her. herself. I just she, don't feel like it's, I don't. She's like, worked with silhouettes. She's worked with the. I've never used a silhouette. Oh, what? I thought you did a pink pig. Oh, no. We had a cutter. We had a oh, US the cutter. US cutter. She's worked with cutters. She knows her stuff. <laughs> she just likes did to. Did you read it? I did. There You're you an angel. Okay. Let's go ahead and put all of this on here. I need my scissors. I'm just going to cut some transfer tape. And y'all are going to be like, this is. Crazy, she's crazy, but I'm just cutting off a little strip right here. 
Okay. And my little magnets are cut. How Yay! cute. Okay, we're getting there. I know this is a long live. I love you guys. Thank you for staying <laughs> and watching. So I'm just putting my transfer tape on here. I'm going to transfer the words. And you can do the words first or the other part first. Whatever your heart desires. We love the Dollar Tree cutting boards. They're so good. Oh, yeah, they are. You know they have stainless steel tumblers? No at way. At the uh, Dollar Tree now. We've got to, like, etch those. I like... did. I etched one this morning. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I literally etched one this morning. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, so I'm going to put to do on one side. And, of course, okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And... I'm so thankful you weeded this for me because oh I was like, gosh. of course, I was having a moment. It's it, you know what? That one is one I call like the flick of the wrist. Like you had to really take the right flick of the you wrist. Gotta get, <laughs> you got to get the right angles. Yeah. And look, I'm just talking up this Caesar. This this transfer tape is amazing. It's it's me. We love it. User error. And you got your transfer tape. I have went ahead and put my asher on so I don't have as much room to wiggle this around. Okay. But I'm just going to put it right here in the middle of the left side. Can y'all see this? Or am I out of frame? No, I think you're down. Down. Good. Okay. So we've got to do. So cute. Then we'll peel this off. And I will say be careful if you're using a really tacky transfer tape. Um, it will, if you stick it to this magnetic sheet, it will pull off like the film on top of the magnetic sheet, if that makes sense. So just be super, super careful. Where's my burnishing tool? I'm going to use the end of this. Listen, sometimes you just oh. <laughs> use what you got. Megan, we have had so many trolls on the show today. It is literally insane. What are they saying? Uh, uh, do you want me to repeat it? It's no. so many emojis. They need to go They're on. speaking in emojis. They're speaking in emojis. <laughs> How rude. How oh, disrespectful. Yeah, there's too many. There's okay. Too many. And then we need our little blue line guy. Yay. And I'm just going to transfer tape at the top of this. Oh, what a hat. What a hack. So we're not wasting a whole bunch of transfer tape. And then we'll just line it up there. And all the perfectionists cried. <laughs> okay, there's that. And then all of our magnets are cut. Oh, yay. I'm just going to pull a few of these I off. I love these. Just to show you all so how cute. So just to recap the project while she does that, these little tasks, the magnets, are a file. We have morning and nighttime routines for you guys, for your kiddos. Um, we used a amber light font. We did an offset. Mm -hmm. We grabbed something from the dollar store. Um, but <laughs> what yeah. didn't we do? What okay. didn't we do? There were so many great things that we've done with this project. This is it from far away. So this is like Yay. the two. These are fun. Yay. Well, I'm so glad. Um, I hope you guys had fun. I'm sorry it took forever. No, bring one over. Let's talk okay. about it. Okay. I'm so excited. Look yeah. at this. Guys, I want to see it. Oh my goodness. I mean... The colors look the good, The colors too. are adorable. Yeah. Um, I love this. And then what's great is that you can keep them down here. Mm -hmm. So, you know. If you've got extras or like, extra. they're not taking medicine right now, yeah. you don't need to keep that one If you've got, a, you know, your morning and afternoon, you can bring it up, put it here. And then mm -hmm. as the kid, you know, go ahead and have breakfast, move it over, to so make the cute. bed. It's so fun. I love this. I do, too. Are you not so excited for your little girl to be able to, do to chores. like. To do chores. Well, to be able to move. Yes, I am. It's so cute. It it's gonna really be big. Is. It's going. It's getting big. It's getting crazy. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Makers Gonna Learn YouTube channel. My name is Alicia, and today we're gonna be talking about the 2022 Top Dollar Tree Cricut Crafts. Most of you all know that the Dollar Tree has really elevated their craft section in the last year or so, um, and we wanted to kind of gather all of the projects that we've created using Dollar Store supplies and show you all our favorite ones and also show you the most popular ones that we've been seeing trending on social media, um, in our crafting community, and all of the places that you see Dollar Tree Cricut Crafts. 
Some of these items are seasonal. We've got pumpkins, um, and some of them are just like all year round. You can use them all the time. We've got door hangers, things like that. Um, so let's get right into it. Let's start off with something tried and true, and that is the Dollar Tree cups, mugs, wine glasses, all of the assortment of drinkware that they offer you at the Dollar Tree. They actually recently started offering a stainless steel tumbler that we etched on. Um, let me show you all what the Dollar Tree has to offer in terms of drinkware. As you can see, there are a lot of options when it comes to drinkware at the Dollar Tree. Um, this one is probably my favorite. This is the stainless steel tumblers. They offer these in the three to five dollar section. They are five dollars, but that's still cheaper than it would be if you went to um, stores like Walmart, Target, things like that. Um, they also have a good selection of glassware. I love these glass mugs. They are so cute. They look very classy. They look expensive. You can add vinyl to these. We've etched them before. These are super, super cute for lots of different crafts. They also have the tried and true ceramic mugs and they offer these really cute soup mugs as well. So lots of options in terms of drinkware at the Dollar Tree and you can get creative in terms of vinyl, um, etching on it, different things like that. Um, but there are tons of tutorials on ways to utilize the Dollar Tree drinkware. If you all haven't had a chance yet to check out the three to five dollar aisle at the Dollar Tree, make sure the next time you're in, you stop and check everything out. They have a huge selection of items. Lots of them can be sublimated on. They're made out of wood. They've got tons of different new options that you may not have seen before. Um, one included is one of my favorite crafts that we've made recently. It's a little chore chart. Um, the, the actual Dollar Tree item is the wooden piece. Um, we added magnet sheet. We used Cricut wood to cut out this little name offset and added some HTV. And you can just add these little pieces on here like magnets. It's so, so cute. That is probably one of my favorite Dollar Tree crafts that we have made this year. Another Dollar Tree item that has been super popular this year is the seasonal pumpkins that they offer. So every year you go, they've got the little orange foam pumpkins. For years they've had those, um, but recently they've started offering sequin pumpkins, uh, velvet pumpkins. They've got all different colors. This is an off-white one um, that we purchased, all different sizes. I even saw some leather pumpkins, which are super cute and on trend this year. Um, the velvet pumpkins are probably my favorite one. Uh, but you can do so many different things with these. You can add vinyl decals, you can add ribbon to them. So lots of different options in terms of seasonal crafts. Another popular section in the Dollar Tree is the organizational bin aisle. Um, in our Dollar Tree, it's like near the back, kind of close to all the cleaning supplies. Um, they have things like these little bins that you can use to store your socks. Um, you can store lots of different items in these and then you can just add some simple permanent vinyl to these and it's a totally customized project and super cute. You can even use these as gift baskets and things like that. So very versatile and very easy to customize. Next, I want to talk to you all about one of my most favorite craft projects that I have made using the Dollar Tree socks. So sounds weird, um, but I really, really love these socks. They make 100% polyester socks at the Dollar Tree, and that means that we can sublimate on them. So what I have made here, we've got some socks right here with cheetah print and little sunflowers. These have little puppies all over them. You could put your own puppy's face on them. We added some text and some makers going to learn cut files. Um, we did the same thing here and changed the colors up. We've got some tutorials on our channel if you are interested in how we do this. The process is actually pretty easy. Um, it's a little bit more into the design space, but it's very fun and the project just turns out so good. These look like I bought them online somewhere and they're super professional and honestly would make a really great gift. Another hot ticket item at the Dollar Tree are these tiny little LED 
night lights. So you can see here, we've just added some black permanent vinyl on them and you could put any, any design that your heart desires, plug them into the wall and you're good to go. Super easy craft to make and really super fun. Another really popular Dollar Tree Cricut craft is these charger plates. So these are super easy to put some permanent vinyl on. I mean, we literally took a letter C in our favorite font, and then we added a floral wreath file from the Maker's Gonna Learn Cut Files and just put it onto this charger. Not only do they offer these in gold, but they also have silver, clear, I want to say around Christmas time and fall, they start getting the black and white plaid and sometimes even red and black plaid. It just depends on what your Dollar Tree offers. Um, but they're always this really big size and you can just put some vinyl on there, put a cute saying and you're good to go. This is the second to last item I have to show you all today. These have been the biggest, I want to say one of the biggest Cricut crafts that people have been doing this year. Um, you can do so many things with these blocks. Let me take these out. So this is a mini Jenga block box set. Um, people have been making the craziest stuff. So they will use them um, like to build little shapes. I've seen them put around planters to make like a cute little planter pot. Um, you can use these for keychains. We made like a little dog mom keychain. We made keychains with these and we used the torch burning paste. So they're just like these little tiny Jenga blocks, but you can do so many different things with them. Um, we even made some Christmas ornaments before and basically all we did was line these up in a row and then you can glue them together and paint them and add a little string. I mean, you could just put like a little letter on there. You could do J-O-Y and make like a cute little Christmas ornament. Lots of different options with the Jenga blocks. Um, this is, I mean, if you go on the YouTube or go on Instagram anywhere, you're gonna see so many fun Jenga block crafts. You could honestly search Jenga block crafts and you're probably gonna get lots of different things that you can put together. Um, relatively easy and very inexpensive. Okay, last but not least, I wanna talk about the Pizza Pan door hangers. These have been such a hot item in terms of Dollar Tree crafts. The Dollar Tree is offering this size and then a slightly bigger size now of pizza pans. These are the $1.25 size, but like, are you kidding me? This is so cute. So everything on here is Dollar Tree. Um, even this little wooden vinyl, that is Dollar Tree vinyl. The black, um, they offer a black Dollar Tree vinyl. Um, they've got jute rope, paint, even this ribbon, it's from the Dollar Tree. So that kind of blew my mind. Um, but these are so cute and you can just hang it on your door. You can make one for every season if you wanted to. Um, I just really love the versatility of this project and these have been everywhere. I mean, if you don't have a good idea of what you want to do, get online. And there are so many different project ideas using these Dollar Tree pizza pans. So these are what we use on the Dollar Tree pizza pans. It's actually technically peel and stick wallpaper. Um, they have so many different colors. They have like a tropical leaf color, um, this wood pattern. There's so many different ones that you can use. And they also have these removable tile decals. You can use these on the pizza pans as well. You just kind of have to trim around the edges. Um, and then they've even got the bigger self-adhesive wall tiles and you can apply these to um, like your wood signs, maybe not necessarily the pizza pan, um, but you could put these on like wood signs and just trim them up so that they fit. But they just have so many cool new options um, when it comes to crafting at the Dollar Tree. It's just kind of blows my mind really. I hope you all have enjoyed seeing our top 2022 Dollar Tree Cricut crafts today. Um, if you are new to the channel and you enjoyed what you saw today, make sure to click the subscribe button and hit the little bell. So every time that we post, you're notified. We will see you all in the next video. Bye. All right, y'all, we are back in the car. We are headed back to the Dollar Tree. But for today's video, it's gonna be a little different. We are gonna share with you 10 of the best Dollar Tree Cricut Crafts 
and I'm going to share with you exactly why they're the best. So we're gonna pull the item out, we're gonna give you examples of exactly what you can make with it so you can have some really fast results the next time you walk right into the Dollar Tree, you're gonna be super inspired. If you're just tuning in with us, my name's Tanner, the founder here at Makers to Learn, and we go to the Dollar Tree a lot to do cricket crafts, so I cannot wait to share with you today's video. Let's go. I've seen so many local friends that follow the channel that didn't even know that we're local friends. So we're an hour outside of Knoxville, Tennessee, um, in a little town called Morristown. So this is our Dollar Tree. And I'm so excited to hop in and see what we have in store for our 10 favorites. So let's go ahead and take a look. We're going to the Dollar Tree. I'm so excited. Okay. Dylan's want a new comment every time he makes one of these videos. So y'all need to maybe give him some love. So excited to hop on in. Imagine you recording me getting run over. That would be hilarious. All right. So we're at the Dollar Tree and we're going to find 10 of our favorite, favorite, favorite things here at the Dollar Tree and share with you exactly what to do with it when you get it here at the Dollar Tree. All right, to start off, let's start talking about all the pots. There are so many different variations here at the Dollar Tree. I love these plastic ones that are slick because look right here. You have a perfect teacher gift ready to go. You can put a decal from Makers to Learn on here with vinyl. You can do it multi-layer vinyl. You can do it Valentine's Day. I mean, all of these are pretty seasonal and you'll be able to make something super custom with your Cricut and some of these Dollar Tree pots. All right, next up is the chalkboards. Now these are perfect for organization. You can put labels on these and set them out in so many different ways. I've seen these be added to baskets and then you can remove the bottle and do all sorts of things with these as well as other blanks here. You could paint and again, add vinyl to the different things. I love that the Dollar Tree is adding a lot of different crafting ability to the Dollar Tree. So that's awesome. All right, next up, this is super fun. So we're over here at the toy section where you can get all kinds of toys and things, but we need to go down right here and grab a mini Jenga set. Now you may be saying, Tanner, what are you gonna do with a mini Jenga set? Let me tell you, you are gonna take each one of these Jenga pieces and turn it into an adorable keychain. I would definitely test out using key transfer vinyl on wood because this wood is super smooth. I cannot wait for you to make one yourself. All right, again, there's another great wood section and I wanna give you guys an inspiration. We were able to take this wood piece right here and do a really fun sublimation, which I featured in another video. We actually ended up turning it into a bow holder. But aside from that, I mean, look at all of the possibilities here in this craft section. They have frames you can sublimate on wood, you can do final decor, you could decoupage. I mean, there's so many amazing possibilities that you could do at the Dollar Tree with all of these blanks. Truly, the possibilities are endless. Okay. Kind of like our pots at the Dollar Tree, socks are also an amazing possibility here for kids, adults. We love, love, love doing the do not disturb if socks because typically your feet are up, people can read it. You could do, if you can read this, bring me coffee or if you could read this, let me sleep. Anything like that would be super fun. And we have a ton of decals at Makers and Learn that you can do this project with, or you can choose from one of our fonts. I mean, lots of different options here for socks, again, baby socks, kid socks. I mean, all for a dollar. Who doesn't love that? The Knotlots are a classic Dollar Tree project. We've been featuring this for years. And what I love about this is any square decal will be perfect for the nightlight. I cannot wait to see what decals you use to make this awesome project because guess what? It is super simple to apply the vinyl right on the nightlight. Then you plug it in and it's something super awesome. So this right here is very similar to something like our pot or anything like that. This is what we're actually recommending for these. If you're looking for something other than storage, I would use this right here to make a gift basket. That's what we did. We added the kid's name on it. We put some of his favorite things in here. This could be a great thinking of you basket. Um, this could be something if you're wanting to like do a get well soon, anything like that. 
it's just a great little gift and you can customize it again with your Cricut and model. We absolutely love that and I think you guys will too. Another highlight of the Dollar Tree is the mug section. Now guys, there are so many different mugs here at the Dollar Tree that you can choose from. I just want you to be hesitant which one you choose. Some of these are going to be easier to apply vinyl to than others. You can take a look and kind of realize which ones would be a no. For example, this one is super nice with the lip here and all the texture. It's a no for me. So stick with things that would be really easy. I like some of these extra large ones right here because it gives you a lot of nice space to put model and customize for your own liking. So um, take a look at that and just to keep in remembering that when you're shopping the Dollar Tree, but definitely for a dollar, you're going to get some great options. All right, guys, this right here is again an awesome one. This is a clear cutting board. This is actually glass. Um, and you can do some really fun projects with this as well. So definitely feel free to stock up on these. I love stocking up, especially for Cricut beginners, with blanks at the Dollar Tree. So a lot of these you can keep on hand because having two or three of these for craft inspiration when it hits at night is always a win for us as crafters because you never know when creativity will strike. So definitely pick some of these up the next time you're at the Dollar Tree. Again, let's think about if you're making like a gift basket like we were just talking about um, and you're wanting to do something customized maybe for a baker or someone that you know loves being in the kitchen, this right here is a perfect solution. The oven mitt, you can stock up on these. They're just so thoughtful and they're always here. I love featuring things that almost anybody across the country will be able to go to, pick up and be able to enjoy. Um, so definitely consider stocking up on oven mittens because they are definitely a win here at the Dollar Tree. What did you guys think? Come and shop with me. We were able to pick out 10 of our favorite things that you can stock up at the Dollar Tree for cricketing and give you exact inspiration to be able to take something and bring it to life in the craft room. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel for more DIY videos, and of course, Dollar Tree crafting experiences because we absolutely love coming here. And as long as you all like seeing it, we will keep coming. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. Again, leave me a comment. Can't wait to hear from you. I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.